All right, everybody. Five, four, three, two, one. What's up, Bionicle fans and fans of Bionicle? Welcome to Makuta Fest 2012. Everybody and welcome to Makuta Fest 2012. Uh, for those that weren't aware, this is a collaboration between both the Bionicle Sector 01 podcast and the Three Virtues podcast. Our purpose here is to provide you with an entertaining event for you know not just you but all the entire Bionicle community. That being said, we hope everyone here enjoys the show. Uh, first things first, we'd like to thank a Venom TTV cast member for composing our theme music. Uh, I think that turned out really well, if I do say so myself, and, you know, proper thanks are in order for that. And finally, we'd like to thank all who've joined us for both the live version of the show and all those who are listening to the recorded version. Man, three years ago, on August 1st, 2010, roughly three years ago, that is, we started Makuta Fest to give the Bionicle community an event that everybody could participate in. A place where the Bionicle community at large could rally together, have a good time, win some prizes, etc. Both podcasts have come together for three years to achieve that goal, and now we're aiming to make Makuta Fest a reality once again. Without further ado, I'm Messinac, representing the Three Virtues Podcast, and with me is... Votoran! And LJ. Well, since nobody else is joining up, uh, representing BSL one I am Swert. And this is Joel's Swert's dog. And I'm Tomana. Yeah, and uh, speaking of BSL one namely Swerto here, we'd really like to thank City Blocks, Tacoma's Lego Art Corn, yeah, Lego's Art Center in Tacoma, Washington, for donating the prizes for this event, which you know we're going to be giving out throughout the course of the show in varied ways. So I think you're all really going to enjoy that, and you know. Thanks a lot to you for hooking us up with that. <laughs> so. Yeah, it took me a while to find all those fi- all those prizes, I'm telling you. I had to search for like five boxes, just get it all. <laughs> well, yeah. So We may as well get this event started off with our first segment, which, yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Woo-hoo! So. I like it when we make, make sense. Time. Yeah. You guys <laughs> I go ahead and make start- sense, too. You guys go ahead and start that off. I'm going to leave that to you. Because I did the long intro. So. <laughs> You've done too much work today, huh, Messo? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Time to take a nap. Halfway in, we'll hear Messo snoring. Oh, wait, no, that's Elger. Oh, come <laughs> on, Var. You had to mention that, didn't you? <laughs> Thanks. That, that, my professionality has gone officially down the tubes. You were never official to begin with. Anyway. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so next- um, yeah, let's start off with our uh, first segment, and that would be uh, the Bionicle News recap over the last year uh, since we did Makuta Fest. This is going to be short. Huh? Hmm? This is going to be short. Yep. I oh. suppose I'll take... Uh, who wants to take this one? Uh, I'll take this one. Okay, LJ. Go right ahead. So, <laughs> um, what happened Bionicle-wise in the last year? Uh, we got one thing, basically. Aside from a bunch of fan projects that had popped up, we got the Faber files. And Christian Faber is the guy who was one of the co-creators for Bionicle. And he started a blog which showcased some of the work-in-progress pictures of Bionicle, a lot of the concept art, and uh, stuff like that. Yeah. It's beautiful. pretty interesting. I actually didn't expect the Faber files to even happen. Like it came out of left field, and it was a really nice thing because 
well, up until then, I'll, let's be honest, the last year has been pretty terrible oh, yeah, in yeah. terms of official Bionicle content. The it's, final nail in the coffin. Yeah. Uh, though, when you think about it, the, something like um, Favor, Favor Files couldn't really have existed until Bionicle ended. So, it's like they wouldn't they wouldn't That's have released good. any of this top secret stuff without before everything was over. So, now Favor actually has a chance to, to tell everyone about this cool stuff. And that's just awesome. Yeah. 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 Uh, so yeah, that thing that I think it's really cool that that they that they decided to do that now. Now we can see all the all yeah. the, the progress they made, and it was it's really kind of fascinating. I think how intricate they, everything was straight from the beginning, with yeah. the robot planned from the very start, and uh, all the all the concepts and stuff. It's just really great. Yeah. And the so artwork the is really awesome. Uh, Go ahead. Yeah. Nah, you can continue. Uh, though some of the old names for Bionicle were interesting, to say the least. <laughs> do heads, <laughs> do heads, uh, do heads. <laughs> oh my man, the names, the masks. Oh man. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you know, to be honest though, I'm really glad we did finally get a chance to see all this old stuff because one, it, endless jokes, obviously. Uh, but number two, I, we get to see just how far back the uh, the whole robot Matt and Nui Matoran universe concept really was. Because if that stuff was truly made back in ninety nine two thousand, dude, you know, yeah. I know that's crazy that, to think that's, about. That's stuff that they, we didn't even think a, about. They kept it a secret all the way up until like two thousand eight or something when when they planned it. So that yeah. that's impressive, right? That they actually managed to keep it in the in their desk that whole time. <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, nothing ever got leaked or anything. It was yeah, really, like should, really well done. With that kind of security. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at me, I brought politics into this. Ah. Wow. One oh. way to guard against hacking fans is not use anything electronic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so it was a pretty big um, surprise to us all. But a yeah. welcome surprise. Other oh, than yeah. uh, the Faber Files, nothing really happened. We didn't really get any Bionicle news whatsoever. Well, Sad that's because the thing that was majorly the deal this year, I, I forget if this was actually in play last year or if it happened since last Makuta Fest, the whole policy with LEGO employees not being able to talk to people under 13 uh, online. Uh, really, really. That, that really messed up some things. A lot of things. I mean, I understand why they did it. It's In many ways, they really should have, and Technically, there's laws that were made, they should have done it all along, but uh, yeah. it really kind of hurt a lot of things uh, for for the community. Like it just people above uh, 13, like mo- all all of us, uh, we can't. We almost none of us have a contact with um, Greg Varsity anymore, and uh, and the cereals kind of dropped off. I guess that was might have been inevitable though. Um, it's kind of sad that it had to cut be that way. Yeah. It's just the way they ended it, too. Like, it was midway through. We had all these plot revelations coming up. The great uh, being being revealed. Oh, man. All the <laughs> stuff that, <laughs> that had been set up. That's I why think, I, I'm that more than a little bit bitter. Yeah. I'm different than most. I'm not bitter yeah. the Bionicle ended. Yeah. I'm bitter that it continued at all and yeah. then got cut short after. Ooh, thank you. Oh, thank man. you. I actually. Per- completely agree with that. I think they should have just left it on the final note. Modern Noe, um, you know, yeah. uh, storing Spheres Magna, and boom! Everyone's happy. But then they decided because everyone was like, no! It ended! And that, so they're like, okay, we're gonna continue it a bit, and they just couldn't. It's ugh, They shouldn't have tried in the first place. Yeah. Of course, in hindsight, it sounds like they shouldn't have, but uh, what can you do now? You just have an unfinished story that kind of whimpered out. Yeah. Yeah quite disappointing it's a shame yeah but though if though you as, as far as um greg goes you really can't blame him i bet that he did not exactly agree with that and as far as cereals just dropping off goodness knows what happens when you have a daughter yeah yeah, yeah i i would imagine that would uh take president over also, also i should note greg farsi is still working 
is still doing writing for Lego. He's doing Ninjago books right now. So it seems like they... And the, uh, and, and the Hero Factory <laughs> novels, including yeah. such hit classics as the Doom Box. Oh my, Matt. No, I hate you. <laughs> Are you kidding me? The Doom Box? A Doom Box. <laughs> There's actually a preview for it on Amazon.com, and it reads almost identically to the Bionicle books of old, so he hasn't <laughs> lost his writing style. It even has Bionicle names in it. For, really? For Bionicle-esque names. Wait, it no, does? No, 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 not in the way you think. There are names in that book. Pretty it opens with a scene that is almost word for word, that scene in one of the Legends books where people are crafting the Mask of Life or whatever, except they're crafting the Doom Box, and it's like great beings walking along. One of their names is like Arctur, and the <laughs> others is like Deneb. And they don't mesh at all with Hero Factory. <laughs> I you can obviously tell they were pulled. That's... People, someone came up with a theory. I actually think it was Doric. You can tell that the names were pulled from somewhere else. Ah. Oh, well, like the, left the names are names. The names were pulled from somewhere else. Like I don't know that Bionicle name list. Yeah, that got approved. Ah. I don't know. No. Just a theory. <sighs> I kind of want. That's kind of cool, I guess, in a way that he um that that he kind of re- re- returned to something bionicleish. But at the same time, is that like more a homage or just him copying a story style over? Yeah, Hopefully, it's just an homage. <laughs> I would I would hope it's an homage. That would be cool. But um, yeah, it's not. Even, you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. I, I just wish it didn't have to go the way it did. Yeah. Agreed. What can, you, what can you do, though? Not much. <laughs> you do. All good things come to an end, Meso. We just have to I, accept I it. I know, Var. I know. We just have to accept it. <laughs> uh, somebody get the tissues. Calm down. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. One moment. Okay. Yeah. Poor Var. I wish there was more to talk about, but there's really not. Yeah. Anyway. Nope. Pretty much. Yeah. No. All right. No. Well, then, guys, since we have a little bit more space here, I'm going to go ahead and ask you guys a question. Ooh. And I'm talking about do, my get, host get, here, not to the topic. This? No, you're not getting a transfer on Green Muro. This is not the trivia question yet. That's stupid. I'm asking, uh, asking the host the question. Now that we are two years past Bionicle's end... What have you migrated to as a hobby or an interest that replaces the microphone? <laughs> microphone muffling. Take... Yeah, you kind of got taken out there. Figures. But... Did, did you kind of get the gist of it, no? Yeah, I know, nope. I know what you said. So does somebody want to repeat it since I apparently can't say it? Yeah, two years after Bionicle. We're two years after the end of Bionicle. What have we moved on as a, moved on to as a hobby? Hmm. And the chat, have... room, the chat room lit up with a lot of people asking questions. I just love it. Yeah. <laughs> well, yep. so much Minecraft. Uh, yeah. So many Minecraft. Yeah, no. uh, Minecraft for me too, oh. guys. Minecraft for me too. Yeah. If I may, actually, I really have not moved on to a different hobby. Uh, Bionicle's really uh, been my mainstay for things even after its end. Even though if it's been, uh, you know, kind of dipping into Minecraft a little bit. There's still gaming. My main hobby is Bionicle. Mm. Yep, and yeah. Biocraft, Mr. Cora Considering how else. we spend most of our time, yeah, I'd have to say the same is true for me. Obviously, we do other things. I am I love playing Xbox games like, you know, Halo, Mass Effect, Mass Effect. all that yeah. fun stuff, Minecraft, Terraria, all those kind of games I love playing. But what? how do we spend most of our time? Working on Biocraft, doing TTV, yeah, planning stuff. Yeah. So yeah, not lie. not much has changed. It, it it it's still there, in lesser degrees. Yeah, but. I'm still definitely a Bionicle fan, and most of my um you know actual active interest in it is moved on to like um mocking and stuff, which kind of happened a little before the story ended, but now it's just basically completely that. So yeah. Beyond that, yes. uh, I've kind of moved. I've kind of like started trying to take up drawing and failing horribly at it. Um, <laughs> but well, you know, having paused is probably probably your problem right there. What? Yeah, yeah, that that's a problem. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh no, we've really stayed true. In a there way. are other things we've done, but you know, we haven't jumped on 
we haven't like abandoned Bionicle. We're doing. In fact, I said we were trying harder after it's ended to do stuff. Yeah. With it. To keep it kind of there. Also, there's two Kahis in the viewers chat. It's kind of scaring me. Oh no! <laughs> uh, it scares everyone. One lawyer is enough as is. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Yeah, personally, I can definitely say I've been more active since Bionicle ended. I mean, I never used to do anything on BSO, and now I actually am. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. Right when by right when it dies. <laughs> yeah. You have great timing, good sir. <laughs> great timing. Aye aye. Indeed. Oh god. <laughs> so well, I guess who's... that pretty much wraps it up. Well, I was about to say who who didn't answer yet. I mean, did everybody else answer? I think we all had a bit. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I didn't answer, but that's okay. I think everybody oh, already. Ahead. I guess everybody already knows what I've been into. Yeah. You've been into Job breaking BSO dealing with Legos. <laughs> yeah. I honestly think this is this is like the saddest thing about me. Even when I left Bionicle, I never left Lego because like my job was affiliated <laughs> with it. And yeah, how can you leave Lego? It's cool. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, my job's affiliated with it, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's just like, dude. Best job in the world. <laughs> it did. Mm. But hey, be glad I really do have that job, because otherwise we wouldn't have prizes. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. The same so, prizes brought to you by yes. City Blocks, Legos Tacoma Art Studio. So yeah. true, so true. Back. I just messed that whole thing up, didn't I? <laughs> you did. <laughs> yep, you did. All right, speaking of prizes, if everyone has answered everything... Should we? Uh, maybe we should give away a prize. What do you guys think? I think I we think should. I think it's about time. All righty. Yeah. In that case, shall let's ask. Shall we ask uh, two questions here, Swart? The test and the real one. Yes, we're gonna ask. So, guys, so here's the thing. We're gonna check to see what the uh, lag is between when we ask a question and when we get one, and that'll help us uh, describe when we're going to allow answers to come through. That way, everybody gets the fair chance to answer. Does that sound good? Yeah. Sounds fun to me. Um, I'm asking the chat room, not necessarily you guys. <laughs> well, I mean, just listening to the uh, stream itself, it appears the stream's about uh, two seconds behind the actual call. Or so. Well, we're given a buffer of 30 seconds after we ask the question before we start allowing answers. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, we're, to make it all fair, you know, yeah, everybody can refresh the feed. Yeah. Fine, crop, whatever. So, so what we can do is, yeah, let's go ahead and ask the first question. Yeah. All right. So this question is a test. We're gonna see uh, what you guys do. Remember, thirty seconds to load a page if you're looking it up, and then thirty seconds to answer. I am looking then at the clock right now, and I will allow you to answer after whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So. Here we go. Which Dark Hunter was made by former Bionicle Sector One administrator that administrator Pikel? Timer starts now. <laughs> we really should have put up a 30 second clip just to Wait for it's not even 30 seconds yet, and one guy's already got the answer. That's yep. sad. Um, Metaxian has got it with uh, Primal. Bada yeah. boom! You got it now. All right, here's 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 another idea. We can also post the uh, questions as well yeah. in the chat room. That way, that, people can see it as well. That's a good that's idea. A very good idea. Best sounds idea like ever. But we'll say it out loud as well. Yeah, it yeah. sounds like a few right. had a few issues. So yeah, we'll we'll yeah. do that. Yes. All right. Now. And and remember that it's 30 seconds after that we start accepting, so make sure that you wait yes. to answer Please until we wait let until you know. Then. Yeah. All right. Should we uh, have someone counting down? or? Uh, Here, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll I'll just, get we'll just out let of know when. We'll just let you guys know when we're accepting answers. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. That's good. So, here we go with the second question, and this one is for Swerd. It is for one trans neon green Miru. Brought to and you by these. This, and this is a courtesy of City Blocks, Tacoma's Lego Arts Center in Tacoma, Washington. 
of which I screwed up the name earlier, but go on. Yep. Thankfully, I've got a good noggin and some yeah. pieces of paper. So the question is, which piece of the keystone was Krika holding in the final battle animation? Ooh. Timer starts now. All right. No one answer yet. Think about it. Look it up. Don't answer. We aren't accepting any answers. So if you answer now, you will not win anything. I'm going to eat some <laughs> chips while the timer is going down. I don't blame you. If These are seconds. very, very obscure. We made them yeah. hard. We made yeah, them very hard. We're not giving you guys any mercy. Nope. Luckily, we gave them the option of looking it up, which we haven't done in the past year or so. Three, yep. two, one, start. We are accept- we're now accepting all answers. And Oh, Tenma hey, we dude, already have guys, one. Got it. Tam the Tenma dude. dude. Yeah. Tenma dude, you've got it with the torso. Yeah, body, torso, whatever. All right, now, uh, Tenma dude, you should send your a mailing address to swart at mm-hmm. swartmastra at outlook.com, and he will ship to you within the next two weeks. Or so. Within two weeks. I'm, I'm trying my best here. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, congratulations, Tenma dude. Mm-hmm. Trans neon green mirror. Nice job. Nice. nice work. Now, now I will point out to all people that are winning these, I'm only allowing you to win one mask. Yep. So if you answered and you got one today, I'm sorry, you're not getting another mask. You're still eligible for the grand prizes, but not for the masks. Okay. Awesome. All See? right. Now then, I suppose we should move on to our next segment, the year in review, and. Uh, I'm yeah. pretty sure Meso, you should take this one. I'll or? take care of this one. All right. Shoot. Because basketball, we're going to do here. You know, it's been a year. It always has a year. Roughly. It wasn't exactly a year this year because we changed roughly. the date. But you, you know what I mean. <laughs> it's roughly a year since we, the last Makuta Fest. <laughs> and in that time, a lot of stuff's happened, I'm sure, for you guys. And a lot of stuff's definitely happened for us. Because, you know, years are usually kind of eventful. If there wasn't an eventful year, that'd be pretty sad. So what we're going to do, we're going to talk about things that have changed in our podcasts, our other projects, our lives, ourselves, and, you know, just kind of discuss all that should be some pretty interesting stuff here. So on our side, a heck of a lot of stuff has changed, that's for sure. Most notably, uh, the creation of our huge, huge project, our biggest undertaking yet, Biocraft Chronicles. You may have heard of it. If you haven't, well, that makes me sad, but whatever. What can you do? Mm-hmm. And what that is, is it's a comedic retelling of the 2001 story of Bionicle in Minecraft. <laughs> it's the name. And yeah. It, it, we started it on uh, July 1st, 2011. To kind of, we, well, we, we released the first teaser trailer on July 1st to kind of honor Bionicle's 10-year anniversary, which was completely forgotten by everybody else. Yeah. But, you know, LJ is the head of the project. I'm just the PR guy, so you just kind of tell him a bit about Biocraft, what we've done. All right, sure. Yeah. Biocraft Chronicles, as mentioned, is the comedic retelling of the 2001 story. Deja vu. Incorpor- yeah, well, which incorporates the first book, a little sprinkle of the comics, and the Matanui online game. Wait a second. You're retelling the Matanui online game? In a game? game you better section. believe it. <laughs> game section. <laughs> so with it, like I said, it is a little bit comedic, so we've changed a couple things. And we've pretty much made the story in movie, uh, movie-like as best we can with the limits Minecraft has given us. And we've also recreated a mostly to scale version of the Island of Matanui. Full. Of Koros and little secrets for you guys to find in oh. Minecraft. Wow. Oh. So, not we bad. currently are... Huh? I said not bad. Hey. And uh, uh, we still don't have a release date. We had some before, but they we, had, we got two in, our, in over our heads. So, we're going to wait a little bit before we release a full release date, but the movie is almost done and will be out this year. So this keep an eye out for that. This is projects that, uh, unlike most Bionicle fan projects, this one's not only going to get done, but it is literally almost done. <laughs> it's yeah. not like we're like faking you guys out and saying, oh yeah, it's almost done. 
Uh, when I'm, in reality, yeah. we haven't been started. Oh, I, I'm curious. How did you guys create the Matanui map? That's... Well, we had a very large team of Russian Bionicle fans from a, from a Russian uh, <laughs> fan site that actually came in and modeled the uh, map for us. By hand? We, I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not really sure how they did it. They're amazing. Awesome. But, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so we took the map, and then we went over it a bit. We added more terrain to it. We changed the... Um, like the, we added like the coros. Like before, it was kind of just all like forest and then kokoro. So we added all the coros to it. We created the, uh, I mean, not coros, the wahis, and then we created the coros and that stuff from our movie that we had been previously filming and added that to it and kind of all meshed it together. Um, yeah. So it, it took a while, but we did it. Yeah. Nice, because um, I know um, uh, Mi was making a um, a, his own modern movie map recently, but he's using a generator, so. I was wondering if you guys use a generator too, if you or how exactly you guys did it. <laughs> yeah, it, it uh, it's it's a mystery even to us. Yeah. yeah. In fact, a lot of the coros are actually uh, made by hand. Yep. Yeah. Well, there's your plug, am I? Are you happy? <laughs> oh, oh, it's a scheme. <laughs> He's happy. And yes, uh, Meta X. I'm, I'm I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Meta X. Yeah, um, the uh, it, it will be available for download. Uh, once, 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 once the movie is yeah, once the movie's been released, and but yeah, movie is almost done, and hopefully it, it it might be released this month. But we're not making any promises, so we're yeah. we're still trying. Yeah, yeah, but it will definitely be this year. So yeah. Keep an eye out for that, and we hope to see you guys there soon. You know, um, I, I, I want to jump in real fast. I noticed on the chat somebody mentioned, oh, hey, somebody made one out of Lego. Gee, I wonder who that was. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Perfect transition into that right there. Indeed. So yeah. many plugs. Yeah, yeah another, big, uh, another big thing. Swart and BZ Power member XCCJ made a full-scale version. Well, not full-scale. Full-scale. <laughs> I know. Oh, full-scale. Oh, oh, no. oh, 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 that, that would be amazing. That, that, how would that be possible? That would not be possible. Oh, yeah, no, it's a like, not, version not, of the island of Matanui. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> or just like terraform an island out in the middle of the ocean <laughs> into an actual Matanui. That would be amazing. That would be awesome. I would do that if I could, but I can't. Remember, it has to be near East Island because, you know, they had that one site. Right. Uh, that Which was not canon, not canon. Oh, darn. Oh, man. Oh, no. Somebody said I should make the entire Matoran universe to full scale. No. <laughs> Somebody really needs to make a giant Matanui robot. But, like, I should think. Building I'd one. like to like, see. Uh, I'd like to see like the Master Mata builders do that for like a Legoland or something, but they never did. Yeah, yeah. that's sad. You know, I've, I've been thinking about building one. Like uh, I, I know a few techniques that I can use into it, but the question is, what color would he be? Would he be tan, or would I have to use dark gray, dark stone, whatever it would be? Dark gray, easily dark gray. I wouldn't make a full scale. I wouldn't make a full scale, but I would make it a pretty good. I think... Somebody's lime green, dark gray. Oh come on. I'm not building one out of lime green. No, that would be cool. Like, lime green would break in three minutes. <laughs> lime green, ah. lime green, lime green. You <laughs> take skill, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So the only uh, thing green on the oh, Madden oh, robot is his eyes. And and that's that's all that's 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 yeah. Yeah. So what else has been going on? Uh, really, I just want to say one more thing about us because we've really, 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 really don't only only done one more thing, so. and it's actually pretty big though. For our podcast, we basically got sick and tired of having to. How do I put this? Re- <laughs> hide rely, in the hide in the <laughs> shadows, but also rely on BZ Power being up in order to basically put out our content. Yeah. Because after last year, last year's <laughs> downtime, that was the last straw. That like killed our podcast for a good month and a half. <laughs> it really did. Yeah. We've never recovered from it, but we're trying. They almost went down for us again today, but nope, they pulled through. Yeah, nope, they pulled through. You guys know. It's a conspiracy. But so we basically changed the way we host our podcast, and if you go to our BZP topic, you know, you'll see we basically 
run our podcast through Rebrick, which is, you know, the Lego sanctioned site. And it's a lot quicker to do it that way. It's a lot easier. Ooh. And instead, we just have like a link to our Rebrick page because really, Rebrick's an amazing thing. It's never really been utilized as well as it sh- could have been in like the Bionicle community. The Lego community gets a lot of use out of it. The Bionicle community, not so much. So we're trying to use it for our own purposes, and it works out great for what we need it yeah, for. Yeah, it, it is a very nice site, actually. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's a, it's a good idea. Mm-hmm. So, you know, that's really the only other thing we've did, and it may not sound like that big of a change, just a simple hosting change, but the fact that we're not hosting our episodes on, say, BZ Power only, we're running it through an official LEGO site, which we got staff permission to do, that allows us to kind of talk about other things that might not be allowed on BZ Power. Oh, no! Oh, no! Heaven forbid! Yeah. Uh, yeah. Regardless, we cleared it with the staff, and it's perfectly fine, so... Oh! It helps us out a lot. It it lets us kind of branch out. Nothing nothing terrible, but, you know, just some of their rules. Could you help help us break the rules? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, we're getting in trouble for this one. Just stuff like linking to other forums. Actually, I kind of did that once. I kind of puppy-eyed Black Six into linking to use... Letting us link to, um, uh, what was it? Twitch TV? Yeah, that was cool. Yeah! Well, and yeah. then he hears this, and you're banned, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, no, he, he heard me. I was talking to him. He was totally okay with it. <laughs> They've been abusing my kindness. Uh, inappropriate content removed, B6. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah. that's basically allowed uh, us to branch out what we talk about, a slight deal, and it's been beneficial for us. So that's pretty much everything that's gone on with us the past year. Yeah. There yeah, isn't but, much to happen over on BS1, though. I mean... We've uh, moved servers. That's about all we've done. Oh, yeah, oh, a big <laughs> oh, my boost server. I, I, it was yeah. nothing. Oh, no, no. It only took us a couple of months to repair that. Did we even? Uh, uh, we're done. still under repair, are we not? <laughs> uh, to a point. To a point, we are still. A little. Uh, working. Oh, yes. Yeah, so I should also point out we also semi hired. He's contracted. Uh, Metax is actually. Or is it Metax? I can't remember how to pronounce it. Metax. He, uh, he's Metax. actually uh, programming for us as well, so he did a lot. Metax, thank you. Yeah, he, he programs a few codes for us on the side, and then here comes Shadow Kurok and oh. changes it again. Oh, but, he's, but, he's a programmer for you guys? Yes. Is, is, he, is he from that insanely popular uh, project by uh, uh, BNG? I oh. don't believe he is. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't Good. believe he. Uh, no, no, no. He's a uh, not that type of programmer. He's actually. Uh, All right. <laughs> I was gonna say. Oh, he does it, work with PNG. Okay, in that case, you ain't getting any work done. <laughs> oh wow! Wow! In our claim war here. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. yeah. No, um. So I, I want. I, I feel perfectly safe with telling you guys this. Uh, the main reason why we switch servers is my original server bill after my sponsor cut us off ended up being $150 a month. Woo! That's steep. Uh-huh. And I finally looked at it after two weeks or two months of pain, and I'm like, you know, let's let's see if we can find something a little cheaper. I'm now paying only $40 a month for PSL one and HSL one on the same server. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there are little drawbacks here and there, but come on. I, I cannot beat that much of a, you know, I can't really meet. Oh, okay, they've got commercials. <laughs> I, I can't really beat that much of a price, though. Really can't. Yeah, sounds like it all worked out in the end. Yeah, well, no, I'm still paying for it. That's sound Well, of, yeah, that is. You know, but... that that's because I've also got a job with City Blocks, Tacoma's Lego Art Center. <laughs> <laughs> More plugging. More plugging. <laughs> yeah. Cuda Fest 2012 plug edition. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you know what? Far- I, I'm, I feel fine about plugging my own work site, you know? Because I want people to come visit. You know? <laughs> come visit. I think, well, uh, is that everything, actually? Uh, that's I, I, I'm pretty good about that. Um, I, I think I'm done. Yeah. Uh, in that case. Time to get the plumber to unplug this fest with another trivia <laughs> giveaway. Oh, see, first off, there. Plaguda Fest. Plaguda Fest. Thank you, BioCrypto, for that one. Oh, nice. 
I love that one. But yes, let's move on. All, All right. right. Next so, question. Question number two, everyone. We're going to do another giveaway. Remember, for those of who just joined us or have forgotten, 30 seconds to think about your your answer, and then after the 30 seconds, we will be uh, accepting answers. And so, don't forget, that, we will be posting the questions in the chat topic. As yep, well. we are going to be doing that. So, uh, keep in mind, this is for a trans neon green Miru, courtesy of City Blocks, Tacoma's Lego Art Center in Tacoma, Washington. So, here we go. The question is, name three of the four bands advertised for Bionicle the album. Keep in mind, we are not accepting questions yet. Do not answer. The yes. Questions are we have 30 seconds problem. starting. Two seconds ago. Yeah, all right. I'll tell you when we can start. Think yeah. about it, guys. Oh. You gotta redeem yourself. And for the record, yes, this question, or the answers for this is indeed on BSL1. I'm not going to tell you where, though. So it took me five minutes to find it. Yep. And I will it's turn ready. off slow mode when we are ready to answer, take answers. Yes. Do, 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 do. All right, we are ready. Answer, guys. Whoa! Oh! Nice. Oh, Metax! He got had, it! Wow. Immediately. Wow, we got a lot of the right answers. You, you know, guys are good. Or Yeah, yeah, that was better. Okay. So, yep, congratulations, Metax everyone. You've redeemed I yourself. See a lot of, I see a lot of copy pasta, though. <laughs> I do. All right, I just uh, didn't so copy paste. Jack got the answer first. That's the question. Yeah. I, yeah, it does. Uh, was it Metax that got it first? Yeah, I'm not yeah. 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 Yes, it was Metax. All right, Metaxian, you have won a trans neon green Miru. Send your. Uh, oh, wow. Whoopsie right. daisy. All Sort, the... take it away. All right, Metax, here's what you got to do. You got to send me <laughs> email to my outlook, you know, at outlook.com, and all you have to do is send me the. the, 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 the. Sorry, I speak too fast. Did you ca catch what I was saying? <laughs> So Metax, or Metax, whatever. Just go ahead and uh, send me an email to... Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Yeah, send it exactly to the same one I had. Send me your mailing address and I will make sure... You got it, okay? No, Acer, don't read hardcore. We're sorry. We yep. su we're sorry you suck at bionicle knowledge. Oh, Shit. no. Yeah. Hey, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> sorry. There was an advertisement playing when he had the question. That He said that... Um, it's called ad block, yo. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's to everyone but Swart. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right, so shall we move on, guys? Yeah, we shall move on. All right. So, the next topic of discussion is state of the community. Uh, how has the community managed over the past year since Makuta Fest 2011? Uh, well, we've done pretty good. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. For a fan base based around a franchise no. that is completely dead, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I was about yeah. to say. It, it, it could be better, but it, it, it could also have been worse. Indeed. <laughs> yeah. Like everyone was freaking out last year. Everyone was concerned, including myself, and I now I see that I was just blowing it out of proportion. But when BZP came back, they were going to abandon Bionicle, and it was going to plummet because BZP is pretty much the only place still remaining aside from BSO1, where it's like a huge hub of Bionicle discussion. And if BZP changed, they went over, that everything was going to crumble and fall apart. No. That didn't happen when it came back. Sure, they added like a Hero Factory forum here and there, but Bionicle's still the predominant focus. Yeah, that, I and that being the case, everything's fun. Yeah, I th yeah, I, I'm it, thinking. Sorry, go ahead. I think they did a good job balancing the the forum rearrangement. They have um the, everything Bionicle is still primary, and it has all the same forums we always needed. However, um, it's a um, but they they gave us more for the other stuff. Hero Factory has more. Um, there's also LGD is improved. Um, yep. There's an in, there's yep. an Ninjago wiki it, forum. Oh, oh yes. don't <laughs> don't go there with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. We don't want to mention bad form sites. Oh, ouch. Uh, 
Do you know, I, I, I wow. since we transitioned, I, I got to bring this up. So um, the Ninjago Wiki actually sent me a custom screen, uh, like engraved tile. They, they mailed it to my household. It was absolutely free. And I'm like, dude, cool. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I've got one. I got one of those. So I can send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I no, yeah, send it to me. Um, I'm sure I can find someone who'd want to use it as target practice. Ooh. <laughs> well, it, it is a <laughs> it's oh. You know, maybe I should build a, like a Lego gun and shoot it, shoot it out of that. Yeah. <laughs> I actually got one of those um at a brick fair. Uh, it was pretty cool actually. I I should have thought so, I should have made you make something for um brick fair, but eh, maybe next time. Yeah. Yeah. Well. I, I maybe I may, maybe I should get my own custom tiles made up. Yeah, I'll put them. We'll on if I go again, we'll do a do a Makuta Fest tile. We'll oh. get a Makuta Fest tile. Cool, cool. That'll be awesome. Yeah, yeah. What do you guys think? Chat room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Moving back smile. to the community. <laughs> back to the community, because that kind of was what we were on. Yeah. So I yeah. Know, the... like fan yeah. projects are still going. That's another thing. That is. Personally, I think a k- indicator of how much that people still care about Bionicle is the fact that, despite our crappy job at backing up BSO one, lots of pages we're, we're down to very few wanted pages really. I know. Mm-hmm. It's, um, yeah, doing pretty good. Hey, you guys can help make it even less, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. It's like the deal is. As long as people don't go off on huge rants about, like, oh, Bionicle must return, Hero Factory is terrible for replacing Bionicle, etc., etc., which has actually died down it's to being almost non-existent yeah, anymore, which makes a, me very happy. Except to a certain Australian. You know oh, 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 oh. Names or anything. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, anyway. You yeah. know what's sad, though? Basically, yeah, that's what. Nobody ever seems to remember that Bionicle replaced stuff like Throwbots and uh, Robo Riders. People... You know? Uh, bring back throwbots. Yeah. I'm oh, gonna... man, not throwbots. <laughs> no, no I, I remember there was there, no, there was a blog entry a while ago, bring back the wooden ducks. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 can get wow. behind, I can get behind that. You know, I mean, I've been out of a job, but I can get behind that. What, I've always wanted the wooden ducks. Uh, wooden duck um, uh, set. You know, just bring it back. You know, it would be fun um, commemorative item. Quack, quack, quack. Actually, I think they actually released a uh, wooden duck uh, set. Like, they actually made a Lego-built wooden duck. I'd like to see that. I would love to see that. I think it was a uh, company exclusive, though. Ah, uh, boo. i like to see that, you know, as a public memorabilia. That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think all in all, though, the community has held up fairly well, except for the few outbursts of... <clears throat> rage yeah bring and, uh, lego down and, and and all of the uh um, kuso yeah, projects the, you know the bring back bionicle kuso projectos uh yes. and uh, that was, all that. that was the other big thing was, occupy you know, that, lego that, that did in fact happen <laughs> the whole kuso deal that was uh, a big thing man but, there was a kus- there was a kuso deal i didn't even hear about that yeah mm. yeah uh Three bring back Bionicle uh, entries on Cuso, which, by the way, are against their rules. Her, yeah, yeah. I see. I'm, I'm glad they kind of, um, kind of uh, fin it, um, made a, clarify the rule on that, because it was just getting a little too much. People were proposing ideas that were just rehashes of ideas that Lego already did. That's not the point of Cuso. The Cuso is it's spreading new ideas, and that was well, not new ideas. Yeah, you know, with all the people over here saying Occupy, I would love to see a Occupy Wall Street mock put on Lego Kusu. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you send that to me. Then, then I then you send that to me, and I'll find someone else to use their ammo on that. <laughs> anyway, wow, well, yeah. Well, uh oh, change up. I'd build one too. Oh god. Yeah. But, well. Yeah. Awkward. Yeah, bring on the awkward silence. You know what's really awkward? LJ's what? face. LJ's face oh! is really awkward. 
You know what else is really awkward? I mean, that, that, that's why that's why he wears the mask. I mean, it's just horribly disfigured. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Yeah, if, if, if anyone. Oh, you know what? You know what, Jolie? Well, okay, that's it. That's it. You know what? No. 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 I'm fighting. Too bad. It. You're going down, pal. Just like I said last year, I'm hunting you down, and I'm gonna show you the wrong of your ways. The wrong Calm down, of your ways. gonna be okay. Calm Everything down. isn't gonna be okay, Meso. He has to die. No, LJ, no. Ooh, You're just main, exaggerating. I main have just, to... LJ, Mains just called your mask uh, horrible. <laughs> Envy, your face is horrible. But LJ, your <laughs> face is horrible. That's why you have the mask in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this was a nice transition. Hooray for insult yes, uh, fest. Yeah, uh, Dav, you think we uh, squared everything away with? Or what? Well, you know, the state of the community... You to kind of wrap up on that front, it's been doing better than expected. Everyone just has to keep doing what they're doing. Yeah. What, um, making fun of people's faces? No. <laughs> but oh, if, you, yeah. if, if you want, I guess. <laughs> as long as it's a bionicle face and not a Hero Factory face, you're doing your job. <laughs> I, like, like, like Hero Factory if you want, I know I do. But don't Yay. give up on bionicle either. Just kind of... To me? You know, and if you do it. like Hero Factory, go to HeroSector01.com. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. We don't know. Find a home. Wait, that's no, not don't the... go to that domain. Don't go to that domain. I don't own it. Yeah, hf.biosector01.com. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you're messing up today a lot. Yeah, well, I, I think I need more caffeine. You've even messed up the uh, the name of your own workplace. What's what's wrong with you, dude? No, uh, again, <laughs> I think I need years, more caffeine. Yeah. So, uh, what should we do next? Shall we uh, uh, do another trivia giveaway or our next segment? How many trivia giveaways do we still have? Two more to go. But we mm. still have prizes to give away as well. How many more yeah. segments do we have? Mm. Well, uh, we have one more segment, and then we have one, one, two, three more questions. Okay, okay. then uh, I say well, yeah, trivia. Okay, yeah, Actually, hey, guys, guys, can I point out something? We do also have that audio clip that... Uh, Bionicle Man left for us. Yeah, we completely oh. forgot about that, by the way. Uh, 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 sorry, sorry, B Man. Yeah, so I'm going to yes. go ahead and uh, I'm going to play that. Yeah, because B Man right. couldn't be here today. B Man was scheduled to be here today, and in his absence, he's left us a message that we should all li listen to and cherish with our hearts and souls. <laughs> and now. Or at least listen to for five seconds. Uh, I, and now, a message from Bionicle. We haven't even listened to this message, by the way. That's what, uh, here, here. Okay, here we go. All right, stop. Hey, guys. Hope you are enjoying Makuta Fest. I'm sorry I could not be there, but real life had to interfere, which is pretty annoying since I am the host of this show. Well, the be a podcast. But anyways, I just wanted to record a quick message expressing my thoughts on the podcast over the past year that I'm sure the wonderful hosts currently present on the show um, will be able to discuss themselves. But for now, I will talk about the past year. Obviously, this was my first year as host, taking over for Kralix, who got this show started. Of course, I went pretty zero to hero on this show since originally I just listened to the show pretty much and submitted a question every once in a while. And then all of a sudden I became, I decided to appear on the show and then Krolix retired. And by then I was pretty involved with the show and Krolix had kind of picked me as a replacement since I was one of the more active staffers for the podcast. And I agreed, and it's been a blast. Um, we d I did add a few new things to the show. I added the transitions, the spirit announcements, and the spirit commercials, which I think are pretty funny, although no one ever comments about them, so I don't know if anyone else thinks they're funny. They but I think they're pretty funny, so at least somebody likes them. One other thing we did was the movie commentaries, which... I think are quite a lot of fun to do. Um, other podcasts I listen to, like MuggleCast and PotterCast, you'll notice a theme there, they're both Harry Potter podcasts, um, do have done movie commentaries for the Harry Potter films, so I thought it'd be fun to do my own for the movies. Um, so yeah, 
that was good. Um, as you may have noticed, um, or not have noticed, which just makes me sad, um, that a lot there's been a lot more sound effect editing in the show, mostly in spirits commercials. Or one particular example would be the um, naming day. Uh, story spirit did all of these were actually inspired by a podcast that I started listening to about a year ago um, called Radio Lab which is basically an information podcast uh, science podcast that uses a lot more fancy uh, sound effects and stuff basically nothing compared to what I do um, there are actually professionals over there and know what they're doing whereas I'm an amateur who kind of fakes it. But that was my inspiration. Um, and if you want to hear more stuff like that, only a lot more interesting, go check out Radio Lab and iTunes. On the state of the podcast itself, I would say that it, the general activity has gone down um, in terms of user comments and the fact that the podcast doesn't come out as often as it used to. Now, there are contributing factors to this, obviously. I am a pretty busy person, and I don't have a whole lot of time to edit. But another contributing factor is the fact that My Uncle has ended, and the fandom is certainly not as active as it used to be. But I'd still say we're pretty entertaining, and we do get occasional comments. So, And of course, you are always welcome to make comments at bs1podcast.com, and etc., cetera, etc., cetera. So yeah, those are my general thoughts. Of course, I could say more, but you're probably sick of my voice already. So with that, I'll turn you back over to the guys of MakutaFest. See you guys. Oh, how thoughtfully long. <laughs> what was that? I don't understand. Wait, did we just hear about science stuff? Yep. <laughs> I heard MuggleCast, that's about it. <laughs> you explaining the Higgs boss. Okay. Well, thank you, Bevan, for sending that message in your absence. That pretty much sums up everything, I would say. Yeah, so. pretty much. Bill Nye, the science guy. So, Bill, Bill. Uh, anyway, before we start singing, uh, should we get on to another trivia giveaway? Ooh, yes. Yeah. All righty, we shall drink a cup of tea while we do this, except I don't have and... This time we'll take uh, the advice previously given to us by Turok Tamer, and we will uh, pause the chat. So, yeah. Yes. All right, so we're doing question number four. In the... <laughs> <laughs> number four. <laughs> four. Well, it works. I'm, I'm okay, okay, see, if, see, if this was a TTV episode, that'd be the name of the episode. TTV episode, whatever, number four. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyway, so, um, Swart, we're doing question number for the uh, Traganuju one. I don't think we've asked that yet. No, we have not. <laughs> Thank you, Swart. Your words are insightful. <laughs> All right, so I'd like to remind everyone you are going to have a buffer of 30 seconds. So the question will come in, in th within 30 seconds. Do not answer. If you answer within the first 30 seconds, you your are. answer will be null and void. So, here we go. Here is the question. What was the first word that Turaga Nuju spoke in Matoran in 1,000 years? Twenty seconds. Think be about it, guys. <laughs> you guys gotta be the best. Be the this, best. This is this is again for I a. I wanna be the very best, like no one. No one has ever won. Five seconds. No, 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 no. This be is my three, way for two, one. one. Is my okay? Fine. All right. Um. Oh, oh my, Matt Tanu. Are you serious? They're good. <laughs> <laughs> what I the heck, guys? <laughs> You people are smart. Did you go to like Bionicle school or something? Okay, Wild either smoke. way. Ah, 
nuts. Uh, let's see who got it first. Busto got it for me. They keep they keep posting. Yeah, Busto one hundred minus one. You got it. Nice. Uh, this, you have won a um, trans neon green Miru, courtesy of City Blocks Tacoma's Lego Art Center in Tacoma, Washington. Congratulations. Send your email and a mailing address to swartmastra at outlook.com. Congratulations. <laughs> it sounded like you said outlook, not outlook. Uh, and, uh, yeah, the answer to that was Hortica, so. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if we've been mentioning the, uh, uh, answers to the questions in the call, but uh, to recap, our first our first question, a test question was, which Dark Hunter was made by former BSO-1 administrator Piquel? The answer was Primal. Name three of the uh, names of the bird Rahi in the Matt Nui Online game, which was Kiwa, Kahu, and Taku. Uh, name three of the four bands advertised for Bionicle, the album. And uh, the answers were Cold, Kenna, Rob Zombie, and Wolven. And then finally, this question, what was the first word that Chiraganuju spoke in Matoran in 1,000 years? The answer is Hordika. So, congratulations, Basto 100 minus 1. Woo-hoo. So, yeah. Um, I suppose we should move on to our next segment. That sounds like yeah. a good idea. Quite. Uh, quite. All right. So the next segment is going to be Q&A. What that basically is where we have a list of people here that already sent in their names for Q&A. And it actually is possible if you want to be on the Q&A still, go ahead and send your um, Skype account name to messinac at gmail.com real quick and you'll be added into the Q&A because it's Wait. looking like we're not going to have as many people as initially suspected. But regardless, we have a controversy with the name. Huh. Kizzy in 02 <laughs> is checking, double checking the answer for us. All the right. Um, we've seen in the book. Yeah, it's now Firefan's saying it was his book says Vizorak, so. What? <laughs> I would hope it's oh, not a well, regional well. difference. I would assume well. not. I don't know. We did our we did our homework. Yeah. At least I hope we did. This wasn't my department, so don't blame me. Yeah. Either <laughs> way, the uh, winner uh, remains um, Basto one hundred minus one with the answer. It's, it, it, it's just Basto one hundred, not minus one. Oh. Because if you look, there's that that there's a Lord of Bionicles minus one, and there's a Tenebrae Invictus minus one. It's just yeah. anyway. Chat. Um. We're gonna. Ha- we uh, need to do something real quick. Uh, we will be right back with Makuta Fest in a second. There is a technical difficulty that needs to be dealt with real quickly, and we will continue yes. on this show in a second. So hold tight and thank you, Bionicle. We'll be. Yep, we'll be back live in a sec. All right, Fosto, what you won is a trans neon green, green mirror. He, he's still asking, what did he win? He win. No, yeah. he's asking Someone... if he won. he won. Yeah, you did win. No, uh, um, no Jen, he, he asked, he, he asked what he was winning to. Oh, wait, hold up. Let me mute Chan. Forgot. 
<laughs> yes. Whoops. Yes. All right. Right. And all right. Uh, Basto, sort. Yeah, go ahead and give him the details. All right. Yeah. Basto, here's what you have to do. You have to send an email to swertmastra at outlook.com. You just send me your mailing address, and I will get it back to you within two weeks. Yeah. That's all you have to do. Quite. Preferably confirm that you're indeed who you are, though. That, that would help. Yeah. Lol, Chase, am I late to the party or something? Yes, you were very late. <laughs> Quite late. Yeah, like like an hour and forty three minutes late. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so right. yeah, now uh, I guess right. we should move on to our uh, next segment. Shall yeah, we? now we're good. The right. next segment is going to be question and answer segments, which you know, I already have a list here of people that have sent me their Skype account names prior to this event, and they're the people that I'm going to go through first. But it's looking like there may be some problems with some of them, which means we have basically some open spots. If anyone wants to be called, it'll be near the end of the segment, but you can still get it in. Just send me your Skype account name to mesonak at gmail.com. That's like, you know, M-E-S-O-N-A-K in case you don't know, because I'm not on the chat, so you can't see how my name's spelled. <laughs> but, you know, yeah, just go ahead and send that over your Skype account name, and I'll add you to the conversation when it's your time. All right, yeah. thanks. And remember, the rules still apply. Keep it family friendly, no swearing, no inappropriate contact content. Contact. Yeah. You can like ask us a question if you want, or just like you know, <laughs> talk for a minute, whatever. Inappropriate contact. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You don't want to hear that, please. <laughs> Great. Um <yeah. laughs> And everything's going downhill from now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all so right off the bat, to... we're going to call the first person on our list. because, the, Well, the first person on our list is, seems to be not be available at this moment because they have not accepted my contact request. Boo. Whoops. So we're basically going to move down to the second person on our list. Oh, no. A friend of ours, a <laughs> cast member in a way. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> His name is... Makuta Invictus. And yes! Can I bring him? Go. I have a feeling that he's going to have something good. Yeah, Ten oh, This should be fun. Oh. Uh, right. I'm calling. Here he comes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, sec. Man, no, oh, just a second. Are. Okay. Hey, Envy. Welcome to Makuta Fest 2012. Yes. Yeah, he, he's still talking. He's still okay. trying to connect. I'm here. Hello. Hey, welcome. welcome to Makuta uh, Fest 2012. What's up? Thanks. Uh, not much. I just want to say hey to the people at Ustream, as well as the people here in the recorded version. But anyways, <laughs> my question is once again directed to the BSO1 people, because I see you're still using the old Makuta Fest logo. Oh, and, God. I told, and, them uh, I told them to fix that. No. Oh, yeah, exactly. Okay. So, I was wondering, what are you going to do about those people in the Makuta Feet live stream, and now you're going to make up for it? <laughs> Man, isn't this the exact same question you asked us from last year? No, I asked, why did it look like Makuta Feet this year? I'm going to make up for in the Makuta Feet live stream. Oh. I didn't have an answer. I don't think I, I know. I don't. Uh, I know. I only answer. I'm lazy. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good. <laughs> we know, Swerve. Oh. We know. We know. Uh, the the main answer is we kind of just didn't even really think about it. It, it. It's something we just didn't care about. You know, we and we figured nobody would actually call us out on it or something like that. And you literally called us up and called us out on it. So you 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 stink, Mange. You stink. Yeah, you smell oh, like Makuta's foot. Oh. Uh, <laughs> well, is that so. all, or do you have something important to add to the conversation? 
<laughs> pretty solid yeah. refrigerators running this year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, All right, well, well, thanks for letting me be here and ask you about those Makuta feet people. That's <laughs> your thing, NV. Enjoy the yeah. rest of the show. Yeah, thanks. Talk to you later. Catch that running Not refrigerator. <laughs> awesome. All right, so... All right. Yeah. No, seriously, I, I did think about changing it earlier, and I'm like, nah, we don't need to. Apparently we do. <laughs> we shall do it next year. All right, yeah. so who's next? Maybe. It'll probably take right. a year to change but, but it. Before, real quick, before we do call other people, I'll make sure that you mute the feed before you answer the call. The way you're going to get going to be getting two versions of us. Yeah, don't oh, be God. Like yeah, that, that, that would be really annoying. Don't be like Envy. <laughs> Right. Yes. So yeah, who's next? Well, all right. So next up, we have actually someone that sent in a phone number. He is the only person so far that has sent on a phone number. And to you, I must apologize personally, because as it turns out, we cannot do phone calls this year after all yeah. due to various technical problems. So I'm telling you right now, if you're listening, uh, if you're if you're the guy that sent me the email and it, I believe it's, you know, I'm not sure if you would like want me to say your name or whatnot. Ah, go ahead and say the name. Yeah, it's like Roger Hughes. If you're listening to this, go ahead and send me an email with a Skype name or make a Skype account real quick, and you'll probably still get on if you can hear me. So, you know, just letting you know that's still an option. So, here's hoping. So anyway, next down the list, we have yet another person that has not accepted my contact request. Thanks for that. <laughs> Make sure you guys accept the request or you can't join in. Yeah. yeah. And then, all right, next down the line, we do, in fact, have someone that did, thankfully, accept the contact request. His name is Voxumo. And here he comes. He comes! Yes. <clears throat> Alrighty. Someone call no, him. Remember, does he cool? I'm calling him. Let's okay. see if he'll join. There hey, he is. Hey, Voxumo, welcome to Makuta Fest 2012. Hello. Hi. Hey. Finally, I made it. <laughs> Great. <Yeah. laughs> Hello. Awesome. So. <clears throat> I enjoyed things. Eh, pretty good from Alaska for that part. <laughs> oh, oh nice. yes, we got an Alaskan. Yeah. Nice. Calm yourself, LJ. Calm down, everything's gonna be okay. Okay. All right. What's your question? All right. Well, my question is, what is your guys' opinion on how the creation of alternate realities in the Bionicle universe should be? Huh? They That's should like should it be a major event or a minor one? Hmm. I guess um, that depends on what uh, on the on universe what? was. Was it an alternate universe like the one where Spears Magna didn't explode? Because that's a fairly major change. <laughs> yeah. Well, since the ones were based off the original one. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I uh, Personally, I think they got a little too liberal with the alternate universes towards the end. It just mm, kind of sort of started becoming a scapegoat for a lot of things. It was cool to see alternate yeah. possibilities, but then when it started being like, oh, there's alternate universe for this and there's universe for that, also two yet... Uh, Two yet didn't die and all. Blah, 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 blah. Ugh. It just got a little too much. I think they should just like use them less. Uh, I'm not really sure how much less, but just not to the point where they're becoming an excuse for things. Well, yeah, we agree. probably wouldn't have heard of so many except for Vizon. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I, I agree. Vizon is probably the worst. What? Candidate for this part. Honestly, honestly, no. Um, despite what I said, I think Vazon's um, travels through alternate dimensions was the funniest part because <laughs> the fact that <laughs> he just like ripped a hole in time and fell through a whole bunch of alternate poss realities is just that's kind of Vazon for you. Um, mm -hmm. So I, I like that. That was cool. But um, when it came to like you know it, when it started becoming like a scapegoat and stuff, it just it's, uh, too much. That's pretty much my stance as well. Yeah. Just, yeah, uh, I agree. Parts were good, but it was it became to a point. Yeah. Where... Well, uh, on the on the uh, front of whether it should be based off a major or minor, I think it depends uh, on the aftermath of said major or minor because 
a major event may do this, but a minor event may do this, but live up to the extent of a major event. So it really depends on the situation, in my opinion. Yeah. How yeah, I created. agree. Like the kingdom. Major. Yeah. I got it. At the door. <laughs> Sorry, the that's mine. Oh, no, 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 no. So... <laughs> Lord of Bionicles on the chat room just said, Vizon, the best toe of anarchy. I'm going to debate that. Oh, oh dear. We're not gonna oh, yes. Oh, we are going we go. to get into this. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> toe of V, toe of V. <laughs> toe of V. Toe of V is the best. Uh, yes. Fun. Yeah. Toe of V. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I I have it in t- I, toe of V has his own file on <laughs> DSO1. Shameless plug. <laughs> uh, well, so does Hapori Tofu. But anyway, yeah, so, uh, does, anyone else have, uh, does anyone else have uh, another answer for uh, Buxuma? No, nah, it's basically... No, nope, I think that's about it. I'm sorry, I didn't have anything original, but it's like, you know... Like, well, that's good enough answer. Code. Yeah, it's yeah. basically well, our stance. Yeah, uh, thank you for uh, calling in, and uh, hope you enjoyed the rest of the show, dude. It was nice yeah. to be here. <laughs> yeah, we really appreciate it. So, talk to you later. <laughs> All right. All right. So, on to our uh, next uh, candidate. Mm. All right. So next on the list, we have yet another TTV member. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh, come on. The, the one, the only, Kahinuba. Oh, oh <laughs> gosh. Go. Oh, that is like, oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. I'll I'll call him. Whatever. Yeah, but then we're gonna like, then we're only, gonna start getting fun... some PSL one members too. Yeah, oh, we have that queued up too. Don't worry. It's the only fun Kai can have since he can't win any prizes. He's not eligible. <laughs> hey Kai, welcome. Yes. Oh. Welcome to Makuta Fest 2012. What's up? Hey. hey. Uh, not much really. I'm just w- hoping I can win a prize, even though that's not gonna happen anytime nope. soon. <laughs> you get any that's, that's so sad. You uh, get it, 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 there might be an alternate dimension where Swert decides to let TTV cast members actually enter in, You're and in that, that you know, in that one, there is no it's no multiverse possible where I would allow that. <laughs> Anyhow, so um, I don't know. Uh, first, I wanted to add on that note because I was going to start with my question, but then you started talking about alternate universes, and yeah, uh. <laughs> There's two types of alternate universes, in, the, in spite of a nail one and the switcheroo one. Uh, in spite of a nail is because of one choice, and switcheroo is like, there's one uh, universe I was actually kind of interested in seeing in where uh, Makuta and Manda Nui switched places. It was just a line in like one of the serials, but apparently Venza went through one where Manda Nui was, took to Makuta's place, and he betrayed Makuta and cast him in a deep sweep and all that stuff. So, uh, I don't know, that, that kind of thing might have been more interesting. No. It would definitely Any- be a minor event. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. I would right. be kind of cool though. So, your like- question. Oh yeah. Keep going. Uh-huh. Right. Oh. Okay. So, which is the correct? Uh, which wise do you prefer pronouncing Lua as? Is it Lewa, Lewa, or Lua? Lewa. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. Lewa. 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 Someone Come on, everyone me. in the chat, give me some support here. Lewa! Uh, yeah. Lewa! 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 Get him out of here. Lewa! I said Lewa. I Come said on. Lewa for eight years. Get him out of here, too. <laughs> yeah, right. I've been so, saying Lewa! Why, why do you... Well, okay, well, I think the the canon pronunciation is Lewa, correct? Lewa. Yeah. Yeah. Is it? Like, okay. like Lewa's but they... Now, why do you... But guys, can I ask you this? Yeah. What has BSL1 ever been interested in canon? <laughs> no, but no, it's funny. Uh, the, the canon pronunciation is of Lewa and Lewa. It's been uh, said in canon both ways. Hmm. I've always mm-hmm. asked, my, asked myself this question: Would you would you pronounce it Le Coro or Le Coro? Le Coro. There you go. Le Coro. So you call him Lewa. Le Coro. Exactly. I said Le Coro. I've said Le Coro before. Le Coro. How about we I've call it? Hey guys, actually. I get it. How about we call it destroyed? Ah! Let's see. Let's. Oh, wait, my other question. Were there any uh, difficulties in getting Makuta Fest up this time? Were there any like you know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> no. Uh, uh, yeah. Thanks for the call. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um. That. That's my cue. I'm getting out of here. Uh, uh, yeah. Just want to say thanks to all the people watching because even though part of this, you know, TDV appreciates. Your guys coming out and watching this. Also, read with winning the lawsuits. That's all I have to oh say. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get out of here. I just kicked him out. Yeah, <laughs> that We're going to. All right, all right. I got another uh, user here ahead of somebody else. Um, I've got Toa Virtues. You want me to add him in? Yes, go ahead. Oh. <clears throat> all right, let me see if I can add him to the conference call. Here we go. All right. And I'm calling him up. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Hey, oh. Good. Good. All right. So, so uh, my question is, who do you think the great being is? And not like that they're going to come out with any new serials or anything anytime soon, but who do you think it is? The great debate. The great being. Oh. It's a mahi. <laughs> <laughs> had to ask that question. It's a mahi. It's a mahi. I think who came up? With, is that me that came up with that idea? I think it was you. Yes. I think it was me that came up it with the idea you. that he's a mad body. <laughs> I heard someone say it was Puku. <laughs> it would actually it be really cool. Of- Puku, because yeah. it'd be hilarious. Oh man! In the podcast, it's the one someone's mentioned Puku, and actually that would make some sense because like you know Puku like always like shows up when she needs to, and like seems to, like like you know it's like she's more and like, she's yeah, watching obviously. everyone. She Mr. watches Mr. everyone. Is the white Ussel. M- Mr. Oh, God, the white Ussel. <laughs> to- Toa Virtues? Yes. I-, I-, I have to say one thing. You had to ask that question. <laughs> All the questions in Bionicle, it had to be that way. It's Akmu. Uh, definitely. <laughs> oh, come on. And I'll, and I'll I was, I was leaning like, towards I, Valika. I wish. I think it's Kitangu. My answer is Kapura. Oh, Ooh, I now wish I actually might. I wish it could be Akmu or Kapura, but apparently they're all illegible because of their memory wipe. I don't see why yeah, Great Bee could, could be, you know, immune to the memory wipe. But yeah, apparently Greg just didn't allow that, which is kind of a bummer because some of those were really the some of the best characters I think possible. <sighs> yeah, and not. Uh, uh... E.T. Electric Turok uh, in the feed has a good point. Greg hinted at uh, Velika from 2006, oh, who oh. I now fully support because that's a good point. That actually, yeah, that's, but that was always my choice anyway. That is also a that good. That'd be interesting point because Velika is like like those other guys where he's just like a he's a, he's a cool guy. It's also kind of inconspicuous. I think Velika would be a yeah. good, good choice. Can I pick out another name that people may not think about too much? Maybe I'm completely wrong. What about Dude. Mavra? Mavra? Uh, no. Uh, um, uh, well, think about this, because he is on the Red Star now. Oh. No. Hmm. I don't know. But. What? Well, I believe I remember somewhere saying that he'd be on Spheris Magna now. Well. Well. He, he, he kind of have, he, have to be on Spheris Magna. Wait, wait, wait. Because you're telling he me would Mavra? be the one that would have tell, told um, you're telling Tabrua. You did not die. Uh, what? Oh, you don't know. Uh, yeah, I haven't. We'll I will explain to you after. The show. I didn't even read them because they like. I was like, I knew they were just gonna flunk. So I was like, Mrah. good going, pal. No, <laughs> anyway, maybe you should check yeah. it up on BSL One. <gasps> link is biosecurity01.com. <laughs> you you talked over my ad. My ad. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, you mad, bro? So. Yeah, so does that uh, answer everything? I anything? think so. All right, well. Yeah, thanks All for right, coming thank, on. Yep, thank you. Well, it's been All fun right. on. Enjoy the rest of the show, dude. I right. will. Yes. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so who do we have next? Let's see. Another next three virtues up. host. No, no, we're not doing another three virtues nope. host. Ne- next up, we have a person that has been a fan of Biocraft for quite a long time. He's helped us out on a few occasions. Oh, no. 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 Last time. <laughs> and his name is Chase. So, he's coming in. And I'm calling him, apparently. Hold on, I see. Let's see how well this works. Not very yes. well, I can assure you. <laughs> you got jokes. 
He joked the sure. jokes. We'll, we'll go with that. You better answer. You better He's answer. not answering. If he doesn't answer, then... Uh, oh, the call he didn't answer. All right. Well, uh, I got one okay. chance, so I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and add another person, so go ahead and remove him. All right. Well, sorry, Chase. You weren't here. Oh. At your scheduled time. Oh. Oh, well. oh, well, there he is. Okay. Oh, he's oh, talking yeah. in the chat. Yeah, he's talking in our Skype chat. Hey. There he is. Hello. 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 Okay, there you go. You, you saved yourself. You were almost at the point. You were almost kicked. I didn't get a call request at first. Interesting. Interesting. Welcome to oh. Maku Makuta Fest 2012. What's your question? Yeah, one yeah. second. I need to turn you guys up. Uh, okay. Hello. 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 Yeah, hi. Hi. We're here. Okay. Uh... uh my uh, question is uh, in brother in our in brothers in arms. Uh, uh, Mazika and Voltraz went to the melding universe. What do you think happened uh, to uh, Voltraz? That's very interesting. Oh, yeah, Vol Voltraz. I I honestly think I I would like to think that he was dissected alive, skinned. They took the darkness out of his core. <laughs> They took yes. out his pro core. I mean, yeah. villain core. Oh, and then, come then, on. They, then they separated the parts. And, you know, because I really don't like Voltraz. He's really mean. But wait, 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 wait. You're implying that he has skin. I'm implying that they did everything to him possible that would possibly well, torture him. To, well, they would de armor him. De okay, well, if you think about it, whatever. They're like, yeah. de -armor. they're like lobsters and you crack them open. Yeah. They are biomechanical, and, and, you know, so they have like yeah. muscle in them. And I'm thinking they maybe drilled into his head, cut it open, took the brain out, and, or brain box, whatever you want to call it. I thought this was <laughs> supposed to be family friendly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was. No, I, honestly, screw that, I guess. There. I'm totally being family friendly. I'm talking about something you could see on a like TV show right now, I'm sure. <laughs> but, yeah, anyway, but Probably. I I have absolutely Fine. no idea. It will be a bit more family friendly. They unseparated his Lego pieces. <laughs> yeah, they disassembled Took his mask. Took the head. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I honestly uh, don't really think uh, about Voltraz because he was really unimportant in my eyes. Um, but I think that they probably just, like, took a clack to him. Huh? The Rahi. Yeah. Well, oh, they, well, they wouldn't necessarily yeah. know to do that. I don't know. They might have uh, tested it or something. No, well, to be fair, like Mutran they had, create the clack. They had a so. clack, but yeah, but that that would require them having a Mutran, Mutran with that type. They of... did. They yeah. they they probably did. I mean, they had a Goraz. Yeah. They yeah. Yeah. well, they had all the Makuta and uh, like light for the RL, for their oh. element. But they're complete like opposite in personalities. Is it possible that Mutran was still making Rahi? For fun. Well, no. Yeah, yeah, Teradex well, in Mutran that universe insane. said that you know, after Mazika said, yeah, what do you do? They said, uh, uh, Teradex said yeah, anything for the great beans. So they make aminals. Yeah. <laughs> well, as far as the <laughs> fact that you know he's drained of light and this whole clack comment, they and we know that greater beings do lots of stuff with their. Temp with these higher ethereal powers, their minds first study break into his head mentally. Hmm. That's That's a good that, that would be my vote as far as the first thing they would do. Just study ever just study everything that has to do with his mind because that's where the light barrier block is. Yeah, good point. It's a possibility. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, so, has everyone answered the question? Yeah, I think, I think so. we've answered what we need. I didn't. Yeah, that was a good I don't. Yeah, think, that, uh, I don't like alternate universes, so I will not. I will not comment. Good enough for yeah. you. All right. Uh, I pretty much have no opinion on it. So. Yeah. So. Uh, see you case, guys later, I guess. Yeah. Thanks uh, for coming on and enjoy the rest of the show. Yep. Yeah. Goodbye. See ya. All right. Yeah. So now I'm going to add another one in. Um, yeah. All right, you guys might know this guy. Oh, oh no! Uh -oh. Oh, oh, yes. oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yeah! Oh yes! Everybody, please meet Electric Turok. Hey. Et. Hey. 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 Uh, not much. Uh, I forgot to kill the. I uh, killed the live stream. Hold on. <laughs> you killed the. What did you do? Uh, you monster! Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, so, E.T., you had a question. Yeah, okay, so a few of you guys, at least Choli and Swert, have gone to conventions in the past year, Lego conventions. Yes. So I was wondering what your impressions are of those. Ooh. Are they a good thing for the community? Uh, did you guys have fun? Just what were your thoughts? Uh, well, um, I'm going to go ahead and answer first because I've been to a few more than uh, Choli has. Yeah. So I really think conventions in, in a whole are a good idea. Um, I, I really think they're they're a lot more fun than like you know not going to conventions. I do yeah. highly recommend everybody try to go to at least one convention in their area. And certainly, I mean, I personally go to BrickCon. I just went to Bricks Cascade down in Oregon, uh, Portland, Oregon, just recently. Um, Choli, of course, went to Brick Fair, which is like apparently everybody and their mother goes to Brick Fair. So I, I didn't. I'm really upset. So not everyone. No, well, I didn't go either, so it doesn't matter. I could have. Uh, okay. anyway. Yeah. No, I haven't been about. to any conventions. <laughs> yes, I'm here. Well, Me you guys, neither. You guys should definitely go to a convention or two. I mean, uh, LJ, I know you're in the area of BrickCon, so you should go to that. I hope to next year, uh, uh, honestly. I, I'm really hoping uh, at least one of the staff members for PS1 I really want to see come back. I really want to see Krolix go back. He was a lot of fun. And he was only there for like one day. And Aww. that makes me sad. I think yeah. I really hope he goes back for more. I'm I'm hoping to go to Brick Fair soonish. Um I mean, I'm not very far from it. I'm in North Carolina, so Yeah. Yeah, I came so, yeah. back to New York. You have no excuses. <laughs> yeah. I just haven't gone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, on that note, yeah, I actually really enjoyed Brook Fair. I can't really talk about the concept in general because that was my first fan convention. I've been to Toy Fair, which is completely different. That's a business convention. But, um, yeah, the first fan convention I ever went to was Brook Fair, and I had a lot of fun. I mean, there's one thing about, like, having online communities. They're great for sh- for discussion and um, sharing stuff <laughs> and everything. But it's something really cool about, like, you know, yeah. actually going in person and meeting up with a group of people with the same interests. And stuff like that. And especially for something like Lego, where it's a, um, where you have like a, it's, it's a physical medium. You're actually building models and stuff. It's, it's good to see them in real life as opposed to always. So it's good to get all that, get all that together in one place and exhibit it. And considering the huge amount of people who came to Brick Fair, it was, that was amazing. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure I'm not the only one who enjoyed it. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So, Thanks, E.T., unless you have any other questions. I don't think you do, though. Well, well, technically, it's related. What's up? Uh, Choli, feel like picking me up for Brick Fair next year? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, love do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. What if I could? I don't think I can. <laughs> uh-huh. uh. so, Choli, based on that, can you come pick me up, too? Oh, pff. yeah, if you pay for your plane tickets... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to break for anytime soon. Yeah, no, 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 I wasn't serious either. But... That would just be yeah, a slight uh, detour. <laughs> all right, Steve. Thanks for uh, being in the yeah. call and all that. And uh, yeah, thanks. Later. Goodbye. I'll see you. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Who's next on our list? Is it? Uh... All right. I have a list right here. The next person up is another dude, which some of you may know. We've talked to him in the past. Little. He's a cool bro. His name is BioCrypted the Twenty First. Here we go. Ooh. So, all right. Uh, I remember <laughs> right, we had Adam. a little bit of difficulty getting him on the uh, show last time. Yeah. All right. Let's see, so let's this time. see if we can add him. Yep, I'm working on that as we speak. Sorry for the temporary delay. However, so. Well, Somebody do a dance, quick. <laughs> let me alone. Let me alone. I'm working on it. <laughs> All right, so call well, Thank you. I was having difficulty. All right, All right add it. Him. Gotta do a quick save. I'm quick on my feet like a leprechaun. Nice. Oh your, my gosh. Big fingers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Gonna do a river dance for us? Hey, we're calling. We're calling. Yeah. No, pick up. Uh, I'm not gonna do a river dance. I'm gonna do a uh, uh, spin trip fall dance. <laughs> <laughs> I can get behind that. There you go. 
So BioCryptid in his picture has a not shuttle with muscle arms on it. That is the best thing ever. <laughs> nice. Speaking of which, here he is. Welcome, BioCryptid, to Makuta Fest 2012. Uh, please uh, mute the mic. Mute the stream. Bio, mute the stream. Oh. Yeah, it's BioCryptid now. Mute the stream. Okay, there it goes. Hey. 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 Can you hear me? Hey, I can hear you. Hey. Uh, All right, so, good sir, did you have a particular question in mind? I actually have three. Okay, well, let's see what we can do with them. Uh, one for the uh, BS1, one for TTV, and one for all of you guys. All right. Nice. So, awesome. For the uh, BS1 guys, um, I've got, what is it like moderating on BZ- Biosector 01? I almost said BZ Power there. <laughs> I was about to say, oh, well, well, moderating well. on BZ Power. No, no. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'll answer first. Answer first. I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Tomana. All right, Jolie, go ahead. Um, yeah, well, I'm going to be... Okay, completely honest, I haven't actually actively monitored the site in a long time. Sorry about that. Um, but having done it, like, ridiculously many times, um, it's basically... you check, um, I just checked the recent changes a lot, and... Um, you can you can view edits um, just like you can see everything a normal member can see, but there's a few differences. But such as um, <clears throat> sorry, someone else is calling me. Such as um, <clears throat> like you can approve edits um, when you don't approve them. There's a little question, uh, there's a little exclamation point next to it, and um, next to it, uh, yeah, 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 that you just um, but mute the feed, yeah, mute the feed, yeah, just um, yeah, just um. <sighs> yeah, you just uh, um so you can you can approve edits like that to show the other um the other staff members that you um that 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 someone else looked at it. Though I don't think any of us have done that in a very long time. Uh, with the slow edits lately, we haven't had any need to. So yeah, we just kind of like watch the site, check check um all the activity stuff like that. It's not too hard at all, really. I'm jealous. Yeah. All right. Uh, for the record, E.T. also rejoined the call, so he can answer as well, because, well, he's E.T. Yeah. Uh, hi, guys. Again. Uh, moderating BS01 sucks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's true. It's true. Wow. Maybe I'm not... Tell us how you really feel. Oh. <laughs> just did. Well, I will. No, it was... So should I answer then, as well? No, it was pretty fun. Uh, what he said. Move on. Yeah, we have a question for TTV, too. All right. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, why you know from his biocraft? No. <laughs> <laughs> Get you, know, I, you know, I was waiting all show for that question to be asked. <laughs> I'm killing you. That's it. I'm, I'm hunting you down. So, wait. Well, I, I'll just... I got the Swiss Army knife. <laughs> um, Where are my knives? Okay, here it is. Uh, do you guys ever log out of BZ Power? No. I well, don't. Well, well, you see, um, we usually stay up. We don't ever sleep. We're kind of vampires. <laughs> but a vampire. we, don't, we don't go out in the day. We don't, we, we, we don't go out in the night either. We're just kind of like shut-ins in our um, houses. And we, we just stay on BZP consistently all night and I, all day. So to answer your question, no, we never log out. So that's I why know the deal days. with me is that I don't really ever log out. I'm not on BZP non-stop, but I don't really log out. I'm always logged in. But at the same time, I check BZP like every, I don't know, half hour, hour. Just kind of load up the forum, see if I have new posts and any of my topics. And because BZP takes like half an hour to actually remove you from the active members list, yeah, I guess I technically am on non-stop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the The only times I get logged out is when I go to the archive. <laughs> Let's not go. Happens to all of us. Hmm? I think I'm lagging. Lagging. Oh well. Well, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> all right, and now uh, my question for all of you guys: Are you good at drawing at all? Ha 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 ha! I draw all the time. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm I've seen your stuff, Vardaran, but I mean, like, the other guys. Uh, nope. I'm good at spriting, but I'm not good at drawing. Uh, I am I can be decent at drawing on paper, but not on the computer, and I don't have a way to 
scan drawings. So, unless you count really poorly drawn stick one. figures, and re register that for a second, poorly drawn stick figures. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that's those stick figures. Oh man. <laughs> no, I'm I not. I used to be good at, at drawing. The the only art that I do is pretty much uh, my graphics art, and that's about all I do. Um. Of course, yeah. there's a user in this uh, chat room right chat room now right who now. really wants me to do some more work for him, me too, so. Uh-huh. Am I? <laughs> We're yes, waiting yeah. on those masks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I guess that uh, pretty much gets all those questions taken care yeah. of, unless anyone has anything else to say. Nope. Indeed. Uh, yeah, thanks yeah. for calling in, Bio. Thank yeah. you for having me on. Keep entering those comic contests. You'll, You'll win, win one of these days. Hopefully. Well. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah that, that's really nice, LJ. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for the uh... motivation. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say oh, yeah. optimism, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's going to save you one of these days. And by save you, I mean you're going to be on the Titanic of comic making and it's going to go down, down. I'm done. Yes. <laughs> Good, sir. All right. Every All right. Read. Thanks, guys. But no problem. Yeah, See ya. Enjoy the rest of the show. See ya. Yeah. Okay. So, who else do we want? All right. Let's see. We have a couple more names here. Though we are getting to the end of the list, actually. We are. Yep. I believe it's looking like we have three more people. Uh oh. And then we're done. Now, one of which is a fellow TTV member. Oh, again. God. Oh, one. not again. Not again. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> Come <laughs> on, TV. No. You know him. You love him. He is Keeney Hawkeye. Oh. 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 Yeah. All right, I'll call him. I we I have to under deal protest. Okay. <laughs> and now I have to deal with them when we're working. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, I'm but at, but I love at the, the chat, I love the chat. They're like, "Not Kenny, no." Not but Kenny. at the end of the day, guys. <laughs> we <always laughs> at the, end of, at the end of the day, it's just Kenny. Oh my, we're mean to our resident Canadian. Canadian, yes. Yep. Save the. All right, you better pick up. <laughs> All respect points are being lost here. Yeah, no, no. Um, but everyone, I, I have a. There plea. were respect points. I have yep. a. You all, as we wait, we need yeah. you to save the Kinyadians. Oh, oh God! At, and the TTV members living in their basements playing StarCraft Two. <laughs> wait, hold on a second. Wait, StarCraft Three. Hey, hey, LJ, I don't think you can use "living" and "StarCraft Two" in the same sentence. <laughs> I know. That is <laughs> such a good point. I know. Now then, as I was saying. You can help. You can make a difference for the TTV members for the price of a pencil. That's $3 in some places. You can feed <laughs> us new games. <laughs> the price of a pencil. He has an answer, Jet. How much he's, is that pencil in Canadian dollars? Get... He said, give me one second in the chat. All right. Time give up, him one second. Oh, oh, there oh, is oh. a welcome to Makuta Fest 2012. Awesome. Oh, hi. Hey. All right, uh, you apparently have one for us. You guys totally caught me when I wasn't ready. No yep. problem. That's what we no one expects my good feet. I, I like just I I ran. With my yeah, we're gonna step on you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Kini, what is your question? I had a question. All right, are you <laughs> kidding me? Okay, we. All right, well, <laughs> that is my question. <laughs> well, enjoy the rest yes, of the show. <laughs> I had a question. Okay, okay. Uh, you know, we've got other people to... Uh, yeah. yeah. So if you don't, we're going to have to let you go. Yeah. Okay, yes, I'm sorry. We're going to have to let you go. No, I'm kidding. The second time. <laughs> oh, wait, that's another sentence. All right. Thank you, Kenny, for being on for like five seconds. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I just Later hung up on him. Maybe the rest of the show. And he's gone. <laughs> okay. So anyway. All right. Well, <laughs> okay. Who's next? <laughs> yep. Next up on the list, we have Matoro Igneka. <gasps> he was the greatest hero of them all! Alright, I'm calling him up. Um, Alrighty. Hey, am I? Hey, hey am hey. I? 
Hey, hey, hey. 2012, what's your question? Yes. Oh, uh, I think he's muted or he just... I don't know. It might get the Fluttershy's out of your stomach. Oh, God! Ah! Ah! No! Sorry about that. My mic always gets switched off somehow. <laughs> I don't say. I wonder why. It's okay. You're it's got a little switch. I'm sorry. Anyway, I was wondering, when you guys joined BZ Power or BSO One, who really intimidated you the most? Wait, what? Uh, who intimidated me the most on BZ Power or BS One? Hmm. Yeah, besides you. <laughs> hey, who, who intimidated me the most? Well. In my youth, when I was like 10 and I joined BCP, I took an arrow to me. Oh! <laughs> the people that intimidated me, no one really intimidated me ever, but if I had to say the closest thing to intimidation... Okay, well, there is no even closest thing. I'll put it here, so the person I like held in the highest regard were like the staff members, obviously. Oh, no, wait, Greg Farshtick, definitely. Oh, uh, yeah. There you go. Probably. For, for, he didn't for me. intimidate me, but you know, no one really did. I, I kind of had a lot of respect for him, and I still do. But you know, well, yeah, there are two people who have ever intimidated me. By two people, I mean a group of people and then one singular person. Uh, for the group of people, the BZ Power staff, definitely when I was younger, were intimidating. For the singular person, it's just an unnamed um, uh, parent of uh, someone we know. And I'm not going to get into that story because it scares well, me. Uh-huh. But anyway, but yeah, the BZ Power staff, definitely. I mean, mm-hmm. Swart. Swart's like a large bear, almost, with Lego bricks coming out of his ears. <laughs> oh, wow. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm going to kill you on that. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Wow. Well, for timida- intimidation for me, uh, Pohwaki almost uh, always intimidated me. Probably because he was always the one who closed all my topics. So <laughs> that that would be a that would be a yeah problem. Yeah, uh, so I would always be like, he hates me. <laughs> but it turns out he was actually a pretty cool guy. So yeah, that's all. That's about it. He was I actually cool had somebody who intimidated me on BZ Power. I know exactly who it was, and I have no shame saying his name now. Mfus. Oh, <laughs> who remembers Mfus? Oh, man, if anybody remembers Mfus, it would probably be the older members. Uh, I, I do oh, remember yeah, Mfus, yeah, but I, I, know. I, I don't know if I remember him actually being active when I was active. I don't think he was. Yeah, I don't remember him being active. But I do remember him, mind. definitely. I, yeah, I recognize the name, though. Yeah. yeah, You have to understand, of all the people who have given me Proto over the years, because I've got a lot, uh, he's the only one that ever takes it away from me. Oh! Um, only one. Oh. Now, having said that, I'm pretty sure at least five different staff members that are in this chat will probably take away all five of my proto. Do it! As a joke. Watch. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, I'd be upset. <laughs> uh, I'd be upset. I am... Um, uh, it's hard to really answer this question because all that is kind of in the past now. No, no I'm not really... I don't really feel anything like that because I'm, I'm so... in. I'm, I felt so well-adjusted to the community, but um, uh, originally I joined... BS1 before BZP, so most of my introduction was over there. I kind of felt, it seems always it's the staff members who give the most intimidation, probably due to their um, position. You know, they're in power. They have, they can do stuff that you don't want them to do. Um, <laughs> yeah, I kind of had a, um, some, um, some, some, uh, some worry, um, int- it was kind of mostly intimidating me by Electric 2 Rock on BS1. Because, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> you know E.T., well, I think I've gotten to know him really well, and he's a really cool guy. But back then, I was kind of, like, kind of almost fearful of him, which I guess is good. I mean, if it's a two rock or something, I mean that makes sense, right? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just, well, I see what you did there. Yeah. For, for me, okay. no, no, no one really intimidated me, but though Electric Turk was definitely the scariest of the staff. Though he wasn't the one that I always got rid of all my articles for creation nominations. <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing. Alrighty. Well, that about sums it up for everybody. I guess so. Yeah, all yeah, right. yeah. Yeah, all right, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Thanks, yeah. am I, for 
asking the question, coming on. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. yeah enjoy the listening. rest of the show. Later. Later. Bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Alrighty, right. so next up we have another person that we know. He's a fan of Biocraft. He's helped us out in the past. Don't you say it. His name oh. is Bulick. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, what? what? Bulick. Bulick. Hey. Bulick never. Wait. He helped wasn't us in he, Biocraft? Wasn't he one of the random uh, people we brought on that one time? No. Nope. Okay, well, then Scratch Daddy's just a really devoted fan. <laughs> <laughs> been with us since the beginning. I could have sworn we worked with him at one point. Oh, well. Still, regardless, been with us for a long time. So, here he goes. Oh, do I actually have to dial him up now? Yeah, I think so. Oh. All right. Let's see yeah. if he answers. That's what I get for being the host. Yeah. Yeah. That's my job normally. Mm. Yeah. It's a burden. You're in the end of our list here. But it, it is a job only devoted members can do. And cold, hard steel. Stop talking. <laughs> I have a heart cold made of steel. gold. My destiny is in sight. I forget the line from Mask of Light. That oh, was a right. rhyme. Let's laugh and... Uh, right. uh, uh, Hello, oh, Bulek. Hey, Bulek. Welcome. Welcome to Makuta Fest 2012 oh. End of the World Edition. Yeah. Oh. Woo. Yeah. What beeth thy question today? What beeth thy question today? Hey, uh -oh. as soon as you mute the feed. <laughs> Please mute the feed. Who is copying me? I'm trying. Who is copying me? <laughs> <laughs> Echo! <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Uh, I think we should just make that the question. That does like no, bullshit. Right. No. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, I know. No. Seriously. Okay, yeah, okay yeah. sorry about that. I'm experiencing a lot of lag. Just wait. Laggity lag lag lag. You have a question. All right. Yeah. Okay. What's your question? Can you hear me? Yes. 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 Here, you're just fine. Oh. Well. Of all the bionicle masks, which do you think is the most visually pleasing? Ooh. How? Ooh. Uh, uh, good question. I, I'd actually have to think about that one. Yeah. I am honestly. Consult the list of Konohi. I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with the how because the Miru is so difficult to make out of cardboard. Do you know the pain I've had to go through? <laughs> oh my gosh. My favorite bionicle mask is the Paraka skull. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> if, I, if, if we were talking about favorites here, I'd say the mirror. Mirror is my favorite. But... It's the most visually pleasing. <laughs> I meant no. <laughs> skull. You know, visually pleasing. That's actually a very good question, actually. That's what um, I've never heard before. That's really good. Um, likewise. Yeah. Um, actually, the Kowalski has always been one of my favorites. Oh, design yeah. Design wise. Oh. Inner yeah, like rage uh, has finally <laughs> made a cool scene. Anyway, I'm oh, definitely okay. up there. Yeah. Uh, either that or uh, Mask of Scavenging has always been a nice personal favorite, too. <laughs> Which was that? Thurp, thurp. Volt Voltraz's Mask. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, the one I created the power for. Yeah, yeah. sorry, guys. My fault. I blame yeah. you. No, 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 no. Okay, in all seriousness, it's not the Baraka Skull. I think the most visually pleasing Kenohi Mask would have to be Strax Helmet. Oh, come on! Uh, no! Be, that was oh. cool, if but... I had to be serious, though, the, the award would have to go to one of the Glatorian helmets, because those were great. Those were but If you're talking Kenohi Mask, I would actually agree and say Kowalsi. Actually, Kowalsi or Ignika. Nika has always been a nice visual design uh, as well. Ah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 either one of those, or the Volitac or China. Volitac? Mm. Mm. I, I like the volley tack because it looks like a skull. <laughs> yep. And it okay. makes you sneak around. What is it with what could be better? skulls? Dude, skulls are delicious. I mean, uh... What? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> did I say we, that? We do no, not uh, condone uh, cannibalism on this job <laughs> in this event. Uh, uh, we will... Now, uh, <laughs> as for the most visually striking, I think the old C, whenever you see it in the, uh, like that comic or not comic, um Biocle atlas that version that was pretty visually striking as far mm -hmm. as like intimidation factor 
having it all Very stitched true. together and it just like wow. That one was yeah. cool, yeah. I'm uh I'm tempted to say um like Hakama or something. I don't know, something always about that mask I've liked. It's the way it looks. Me too. It's like it's, it's, a, awesome. it's a nice yeah. mask. It also looks like, it looks streamlined, so it's like it makes sense for a mask of speed and it just looks cool. Yeah. I, I agree with you. Kakama is probably one of my favorites. Kakama well. is awesome. Yeah. It's very visually pleasing. All the original masks Kikama were pretty always- visually appealing, if you ask me. It yeah. It really is a huge debate, isn't it? Because Yeah. It's hard to pick just no. one. And I have another question. Yes. What's up? Which do you think is the most effective mask power? Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Well, uh, that's a lot to choose from. Yeah, Actually, no. I think I, I can actually answer that immediately. Mask of emulation. Oh. I'm gonna have to say the mask of life, because I will kill you if you ask any more <laughs> difficult questions. Oh. I mean, you know, uh, LJ, <laughs> it's really weird when you say that, and your Skype picture is you pointing a gun at the at the guy asking the questions. <laughs> Somebody get a screenshot of that. This happened like three times already. Okay, print screen. Don't push me. I have an itchy trigger finger. <laughs> and also, well, which Scacti Vision Power is your favorite? Oh, you. That's it. I'm pulling the trigger. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and say Zach Tens. Yeah, Zekta. Well, yeah. I don't know. Come on, dude. Lasers. Lasers. Yeah. Oh, lasers. He's a fire in his laser. <laughs> lasers. Can I really quickly go back and answer the mask power question, though? Sure. Oh. My my favorite mask power is the mask power of Core Hunter. Oh with his my god! Multi vision enhanced goggles. Oh <laughs> my gosh! Just so please stop. Uh, he looks like he- Kanohi. Bionic or not, <laughs> I love not I love, I love Core Hunter, on, but it really looks like he taped one of those um um uh one one of those eye doctor things onto his face. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Anyway. Okay, no, so back to the Skak Vision Power. No, I, I would actually have to say, like, you know, if I if I had to say like what's my favorite mask of life, because that's the best out of anything. It dominates everything. The end. <laughs> Da, 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 da. You know, I, I don't know. Vizon's future site was actually pretty pretty awesome. I it, think. It, it, effect, effectiveness is a hard thing to answer because it's effective to do what exactly? The many all all masks have a different um purpose, really. Yeah, yeah. Well, for the most part, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, but well. um, yeah, I I'm agree. One of the the more powerful ones, like life or emulation, are probably most effective in general. Yeah. Well, all right, then. In that case, I guess everybody's answered. Yep. yep. What about the guys for calling in? Oh, well, stuck even powers. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for being here, Bulick. Um. Oh, actually, for the record, it's Bullock. Oh, okay. Sorry. Like Bullock with a K. Hey! Hey! Back Wait, to the no. gun. <laughs> that, that's like, that, yeah, that is like bullet, like the one I'm putting through your skull in about five seconds. Hey! 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 All right, don't threaten hey, the fans. Ha ha! 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 Yeah, just one or two more people. Some more people actually sent in requests during the show, hence why it's differed from my initial expectations, but we are almost done. Almost. Regardless. So next up, we have... Uh, let's see. Let me just bring them up here. All righty. So, Take next time. up on our... Oh, agenda. yeah! Oh, uh, well, yes! I, it wasn't time for him, but oh well. Yeah, him, I was kind of saving him for next to last. But, yeah, we'll keep it a secret. Oh! Grawlix, wake yeah. up! We'll keep it a secret for now, but you will see our grand finale. Anyway, next up on the list, we have him. What? Or actually, no, 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 no. His oh, actual oh. name is Biofan333. So. Oh. Yeah. See if he answers. Be better. Answer. Come on, answer. Biofan. Come on. Call Biofan. Bio Serious person. Whatever a Biofan does. Oh no! Someone's calling me. Help! Oh no, no mic. Oh, he's no mic, but he can. Uh, he can certainly ask a question. 
I- I'll be right back. All right. Get out of here. All righty. I'm just doing a quick check here to see if we can still answer his question on the stream as a courtesy, which I've actually been trying to do for people that have no mics, but so far it hasn't come up. Two people asked, didn't have a question in mind, and the other just said, "I have, well, the other I haven't heard from. So. Oh, he's back. Alrighty. Well, he's thinking. This is kind of dragging on. I'm sorry, pal. We don't have time for thinking. Oh, wait. He's typing. Oh, he's typing. He is typing. He's got it. I think he's got it. Make sure that when you, if you are at it. Uh, he doesn't have anything. <laughs> All right. Well, make sure that if you, if you uh, do send your name and that you actually do have a question prepared. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. you will not be merciful. All right. All so, right. should we go ahead and call up mm, the last one then? Uh, yes. Actually. How many people do we have left? We have exactly two left. All right. Well, who's and- left? One of them is specifically requested to be last. The other I wanted to be last. <laughs> oh, no. Wait. I'm thinking we'll have to take that special uh, request and chuck it into a wood. Yeah, chip. let's go ahead and do the special request one now. Yeah. All sorry. right, so go ahead and add them. Oh, forget, for, for, forget you, good sir. We're doing what we got to do. Let's see. I mean, what forget we got to do. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and add whoever it is. <laughs> Oh, oh, no. oh, no. Another TTV host. Oh, no. Another TTV host. The, oh, final, one. Host. the oh. final TTV host. <laughs> oh, my God. We're getting him drowning. <laughs> TTV hosts are everywhere. Uh, hey, Venom. Oh, Welcome to Makuta Fest 2012. What's your question? Hey, everybody. How's life and such? So this is what I did last night. Last night I made okay. the swerves with harder than bread, bread, bread. Until I was My dead ass. with the Lego kid giving me crud onions and shouting, it's rotor all over the Michael Phelps pizza and french fries restaurant. Anyway, this is my question. <laughs> after that, um, after that long compilation of inside jokes, my question is, if... You could relate yourself to any Bionicle character. Who would it be, and what what, what are your reasons? Ooh, probably, oh man. Probably Makuta, so I could kill you. <laughs> <laughs> also, you're a very violent person, you know that? I'm not violent! I mean... I mean uh... <laughs> <laughs> that is just funny. Okay, I'm sorry, that is just funny. Anyway, um, probably I'd have to go ahead and say... Uh, I'm gonna just be generic here, Liwa, because I like to jump around in trees, and Liwa likes to jump around in trees, and... You like to hit people with axes, right? And uh, uh, No, I like to like, shoot people with bullets, but, okay. um... I, I'm sure Liwa does, too. I mean, that's <laughs> I blaster. So, <laughs> but anyway, um, but probably also because he he has a lot of problems with getting into uh, traps, like the Krana, the infected mask, and I'm always being set up by these chumps all the time every day so you about done video games i'm done now i can relate to kapura because i'm strange then. are you kidding <laughs> <laughs> okay what about you var um i think i'm matanui are um. you <laughs> <laughs> that's cheated so you yeah. can um, kill too no yeah no, just because I'm amazing in every way. <laughs> Are you, like, falling asleep right now as you slowly die? <laughs> I, I, I sleep all the time, yeah. Um, I have I have tiny little people uh, living inside of me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't really want to know what's going on anymore. Nope. We don't. All right, well, thanks for the answer for the question, Venom. I think everyone yeah, answered it. I did. All right. Well, um, very I quickly we'll before I head off, I I <laughs> want to quick. I just wanted to say one more thing. Uh, please <laughs> uh, consider this. Come on oh. down to check out my comic <laughs> series V three. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. No, uh, no, oh, I, I mean it. I mean it. I've worked on it for a very long time, and it's coming to an end pretty soon. And it'd be great if I, if you guys, if everybody, listeners, whoever. Could just come on down and check out whatever um, 
uh, all my plans just unfold as I finally bring an end to my last run and making comics. So, yeah. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. having me. I really appreciate Common this. Courtesy. Common yeah. courtesy. Yeah. Yeah, you're like the kind of person that we talk about in our segments. The person that's, you know, does this creative work for like years and years and years to add the stuff. Oh yeah, this so, is the guy that yeah. made our theme song this year too, so. Yeah, thank you for that, Venom. By the way, also while you're at it, go for the gold. Try out everything on the Venom Comics. Go for the gold and try out the Venom Comics while it's still up. <laughs> yeah, but no, thanks for calling it, good sir. All right, we had another right. one. All right, thanks, Venom. So, we had another one uh, wanted to call in and... Uh, Say one question or so, and then, oh, then right. we'll, and then we'll have the last one. The last one. I swear. Oh man, so many people. <laughs> I know. There's a lot more cars right. this year than last year. Uh, no kidding. Yeah, that, that's a good thing. All right, everybody, meet Shadow Kurok. Hey, hey, Welcome it's to gay. Fest. Hey, hey. You chump. Hey, okay. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want? I All want right. you to die! I mean, I'm... <laughs> Calm down, LJ. Everything's going to be okay. <laughs> yeah, I think you're getting a little too excited, LJ. It's okay. I think we're getting past the whole point of, like, family-friendly entertainment at this point. <laughs> this Don't dead. make this me like... test that. Oh, if you guys saw my reaction to that, I was doing the, uh, the Neil deGrasse Tyson thing. Whoa there. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, God. All right. Uh, yeah. Ask your question. Let's go. <laughs> huh, what? Huh? You, you were going to ask a question? No. I'm DSO on staff. I'm supposed to be here. Get it out of here. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Get out. Get out. All right. Bye. Thanks for the call. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. So, so, so real quick, before we get to the grand finale, in his place, where he was going to ask a question, I now have a question from the final person, besides our special guest, the person that did not have a mic after all, and he could not call in. He wants me to ask you guys, his name is Jedi Master J, and he's actually been a follower of all the live shows we've done for like yeah, the past he was, couple uh, years. Yeah, he was at our uh, live um, Christmas special like years ago. Yeah, so he's pretty devoted. And his question is, what was your favorite year of Bionicle? Oh, 2006. Oh, 2001. I'd say 2001 and 2006 kind of tie for me. 2002. Oh, that's I hard. <laughs> I'm going to be like that guy. And say my favorite years are a oh, time in 06 and 09. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Not for the story in 09, but for the amazing sets. Yeah, the sets in 09 were cool. That was one of the... That was, that was I think they really did a good job for the last um, uh, Inika yeah. sets. And I only disliked the story because it was rushed because it got cancelled. <laughs> <So. laughs> yeah. Make of that what you will. That's they took easy. out the dinosaurs! No! So, yeah. I like the year. What what year was the Mari? What year is that? 2007. 2007. Oh, seven. Seven. I, I just, I, I like the sets in 2007. The Toa Mari. Yeah, they were cool. Uh, nah, Baraki were cooler. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I never really liked that squid launcher. Dude! Sharks! Okay, I'll give you that. You know, there are also sharks in uh, in, in Hero Factory. Exactly! Know. Except, um... Brrr, oh, names. Oh, don't maybe go on a rant about how Jawblade has arms but not legs. This really bothers me. <laughs> okay! <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Let's right. move on. Yeah, th thank you, Jedi Master J, for calling... Well, not calling in, but giving me your question anyway. So, yeah. you know. So. Alright, so now, the final person. The special guest. All right. Do, 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 do. I'm calling. His name, you know him. You love him. His name is Krolix. Krolix. Am I here? Hi. Yeah, yeah you are not here. here. All yeah. right. Krolix. Hey, dude, it's, it's been a year. I know. Man, I'm getting like stage fright. I think it's been too long. <laughs> oh. Or if you're enjoying vacation too much. Uh, Something like that. Oh. <laughs> No, I spent, like, all my money going to Africa, and then I come back, and then my car breaks, and my phone breaks, so, like, I've just oh. been enjoying, uh, you know, getting in the chat room and taking my anger out by insulting our listeners. It's been awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I noticed that a bit there, Kra. I, I noticed that. It was, an, it was, it was interesting. It was I have a gift for sarcasm, and you just have to go with your gifts, so, what if I know. got a? What, what if I got a rock? A rock? 
Do well, a rock. I saw a rock. You know, I'm not really following your logic here. I'm not no, even following your gift, and it was a rock. You're saying go with your gifts. Do uh, I throw it at people? Absolutely. <laughs> yes! You're a funny guy. <laughs> I know. But, no. I'm not. So, Kralix, I feel I need to ask you this. How are you enjoying Makuta Fest 2012? Uh, it's been wonderful. Um, I think Makuta Fest was like the most stressful thing that I've ever done on the computer last year. So it's been awesome just like getting to um, be a part of the chat room and just listen. Like you guys are doing great. Thank so, you. It, yeah, yeah, it's just really cool to see like where the podcasts have gone. And, um, you know, we're here three years later and it's still going strong. And um, yeah, it's an awesome experience. Yep. Yeah, well, through the, the flames and the fire, the same thing. Yeah. We've made it here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After but how many delays? <laughs> it was pretty tough this year, you know, like, compared to the other years. Last oh. year was pretty hard because we didn't really do any planning until like a few weeks in advance. That's a fun fact for all you listeners. <laughs> we procrastinated so much last year, and yet it turned out to be a good show anyway. This year we overplanned, but we were just met with problem after problem. But yeah, well, what from the outside, it looks great. All right. Yeah. Well, now, do you have anything else to say, or is that it? Uh, I have a question. I came up with one. Sure. Go All right. Ahead. So, say your parents just started, like, despising you, and they couldn't stand the sight of you. <laughs> uh, you got well, a very cynical out. question so far. <laughs> yeah, it's just the track my mind is on today. Um, so, you get kicked out of your house, and you have to... Uh, uh, get a bachelor pad, and your roommate is a BZ Power or BS1 member. Who would you choose, and why? Oh hmm. no! Oh, no, wait a minute. Is this a trick question? Or are you trying to hint at something? No. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Uh, I've got uh, an answer for this one. I actually think I would. I, I think I would take ET. He and I would be pretty, pretty good. Why? Oh, um, well, one, he and I are really good friends. Like, you know, I guess over the phone we haven't really met in real life, but yeah. And he's like, oh, someone loves me. Yeah. Uh, but no, we're, we're pretty close friends. I mean, I, I, I like to think few people that I talk to online are considered close friends. But, you know, yeah. he and I definitely are. Um, so that's my answer. Brothers awesome. to the end. I'm going to have to yeah. second Vartim on the, chat line, on the chat with Grant Sud, Just so that yeah. I can get him to finish writing up his chapters for second chance. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> I'm going to go on that train of thought, and I'm going to say LJ so I can get him to finish LJ the Becoming. Oh, <laughs> my man. <laughs> mm. uh, wow. Finish finish it, LJ. Oh, come on. I, I will finish it. I will. I wasn't thinking of this question as like a leverage viewpoint. Well, but I, well it's, it's good that I was then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I probably would also go along with Meso. Because we just walk around town, Meso in a tuxedo and me wearing my cardboard mask. We just walk around town like, dude, the girl I love. Meso is the girl LJ loves. My second answer would probably be my good friend Alina. Because that way she would clean the clean the place. and She would clean the place. And organize everything. Oh, man. I would I would get the food and then she'd eat all the food Shame. and I um, okay you know what I that didn't go out so right she eat all the food. <laughs> she's listening right now so I'm a little bit <laughs> that oh, wow. right. why would I be okay, in okay, your okay, room, let me raise that um I would do all the work and she would make sure meso didn't force me to uh, finish ETB well, that's tough. Okay, that didn't come out right. Okay, you know what? Um, Meso. I think you're just grasping not to be sexist right now. <laughs> I don't, I don't, uh, don't just, worry, I'll, I'll cover your hasty getaway. Don't <laughs> yeah, worry, I'll I'll leave. <laughs> If you're hearing this, if I were ever to live with you, I would ask you to make me a sandwich, but I don't trust you to make my sandwiches. So. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Pseudo, make me or. a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, just start digging even deeper. Come on. Start digging yeah, that all right. deeper. Well, I'm working on it. That's that question. Uh, I would choose nobody because you are all crazy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm completely aware of this. 
Uh, okay. Anyway, if I had to choose, I'd probably choose Venom in our group, probably because we're like carbon copies of each other. Except I'm like the uh, high budget production film, like Transformers, and Ben's like the uh, Asylum ripoff Transformers. <laughs> so <laughs> no, 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 no. That's uh, my answer. Uh, Venom is the uh, Chinese um, bootleg of you. Yes. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> he does everything you do just a little bit cheaper. <laughs> I'm just gonna be I'm, I'm just gonna amend my answer real quick and say another cool thing would be like having Keeney as a roommate because then I I'm, could get now. the right forsaken. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, I'm moving out. Alina, please, please <laughs> help no. His his story from years ago that he has <laughs> stopped writing. So I, I like thinking of this question in the terms of how can I leverage this against my friends. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, so, I think that thanks. says a lot about your personality. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I now need to make a plea to Alina to uh, allow me to... to um, what's the words? How can I word this? How do you want to word this? I don't know. Hmm. Gotta think <laughs> through. I think That's you're in a whole LG. Okay. Alina, please take me back. Please. Please, Metal Gear, <laughs> do stuff. What? Uh, <laughs> all right, I think I, I think that's all. Back, we... Alina. Yeah, I would be the y'all. I'll make your sandwiches. Anyway. Oh my God. Okay, so I I think we're just wrapping up the questions now, right? Yeah. Thanks. Yep. I'm amazed by your answers. Thank you for calling again. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I think that's about time we need to start doing that now. Dude, yep, what that now? Is all the, that so, is all uh, Q&A. Wait, stuff. hold up. Before we uh, move on, there's a question that was asked on the chat. Are LJ and Alina together or something? Secret. Guys, we said no inappropriate contact. This is yeah. not happening. <laughs> it, 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 you're gonna, I'm going to find you and, and, and then okay. die. Okay, <laughs> it's, come, it's come full circle. <laughs> oh god, LJ, what the heck? I think he's uh, having a seizure. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. All Thanks right. For, uh... On to the. Uh... All right, we have one more trivia question we have to give out. I know that. One, one more math for the trivia. Uh, don't we have like uh, two more prizes? Oh, no, no, we did. We did three already. So there's only one. We did. We did three questions, but they didn't get one. So nope. technically, we're giving away two. Uh, no. no, because I've got three emails. Yeah, we, we already we, we did like a mock-up question after that question that they didn't get. Yeah. All right, case we have one more. <laughs> yeah, right. All right, so everyone, same thing goes. 30 seconds to think up an answer in that time. If you give us an answer in those 30 seconds, it will be invalid. When we say you can answer, then you're good to go. And uh, Swart, I think I'm going to go with our uh, tough question. Oh, you, yeah, you're cool. ball joint one. Yep. All right. Uh, right. Start asking and feel free to post it in the chat room when you're ready. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, Would you remind them what they're actually going for? All right, everyone. You are working toward a trans neon green Miru, courtesy of City City Blocks. City Blocks. City Blocks. City Blocks. City Blocks Tacoma's in Tacoma? like center in Tacoma, Washington. So thank you so much to them. For giving us all of for donating all of these prizes. Welcome. So here is the last question. What was the name of the precursor design of what became the beginning of the ball joint system later used in all ten years of Bionicle? Ooh. All right, and we are setting the timer now. All right, no one answers. This, this one's a hard one. one. So nobody can answer. I I, I learned yeah. better this time. Yeah, it's paused. Yeah. Think of your answer, everyone. Think carefully. Oh, come on! <laughs> I don't think we really need to, you know, keep stretching out that theme music. No copyrighted music! <laughs> Time is down. Alright. Your answers, people. Alright, it's on pause. Feel free to answer. Yes. <laughs> Terrible. Yes, Christian and Faber invented the ball joints. Oh! CM! Oh! CKM! You hit it! Nice. 
CKMC, you have won the uh, last one. Awesome. Uh, please send. I believe it's pronounced kumk. Alright, so here's what you gotta do. You need to uh, email me your mailing address and I will get it out to you within two weeks or so. Sweet. Make sure to remind me of that email address. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I'll type it out again. It's like only the, what, 50th time I've typed my email address today? 51st. Great. (laughs) <laughs> so, now then, uh, I right. think it is time for something everyone has been waiting for. I think probably the, yeah, too probably the only reason half these people are even here. <laughs> no, yeah, kidding. The other right. half is all ill. I mean, uh, <laughs> so, now then, uh, Swart, I think you have control of this one, so I will let you take it away. Absolutely. All right. So here's what's going to happen. I have written out an Excel document with everybody's name in it that has sent me either an email or has sent me, like, posted on the topic or whatever. Now, I have actually two lists because, well, unfortunately, one of you, I'm not going to name any Electric Turox or anything, but one of you (laughs) only wants the math case. So I made a second list for that. Um... (laughs) So the other ones, however, are all qualified for the first one, and I can't remember if anybody said they only wanted the. Oh wait, wait, Metax said he wanted or Metax, sorry. And I wait until the advertisement's over before I answer anything. So, um, poor, poor, unfortunate souls without ad block. So here's what's gonna happen. I've got a random generator, lit like list thing. And I'm going to enter 28. Only 28 of you actually signed up for this. Um, that's that's really a good turnout for this, but, you know. You could do better. Could do better. We'll, we'll think about it next year. Uh, I heard somebody ask, how do you sign up? Well, you signed up by actually um, sending a, uh email to me or to post on that topic. Now, I'm going to check the topic real fast before... I go any further to make sure anybody else has to be at it. We did get a bunch of other people after this uh, started. All right. Well, I... oh, oh, did we really? Did we? Yeah. Yeah. A few people yeah. posted. Uh, nope. Only about from last check, there was only about two people that added. Oh, so I'm going to go ahead and just throw them in there real fast. I think they're still in here. So now I'm up to 30. Thanks a lot. <laughs> wow. Oh, That's sorry. Like... No, 29. One guy already got because he emailed me. Like a good guy. All right, so 29. Uh, I'm 29. You're 29? Wow, you're old. I mean, uh. uh <laughs> don't make me older than I have to be. All right. Uncle Swerd, tell us a story. Anyway, like on. So. Okay, I'm going to randomly generate a number. And we will see who wins. And there we go. Drum roll, please. Oh, I got the. <laughs> And it is... Uh, give me a second. It was Boston 100. I'll just have to add him to the list. Now I've got 30 names. Uh, you have 30 now. Uh, Uncle Swart. I'm going to cut off all names from here on out. If I get an email from you now, you're not getting in to this list. Okay. Are you ready? I'm gonna yep. I'm roll. Hey, I have it. And the winner for the silver Kanohi is Takulo Choa of the Breeze. Woo! Congratulations! And you You won all six of the silver Silver, Kanohi. The silver 2001 Kanohi masks that were released in 2002 along with the Krana and Mass packs. They are courtesy of City Blocks. Tacoma's Lego Art Art Center Center in Tacoma, Washington. Thank you. They're they're cool people. All right. Now, unfortunately, Takulo, now that you've won, you're not eligible to win the mass case. But you know what? That's fine. (laughs) Yeah. 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 You you have no problem with that. All right. Everybody else, however, is fully fair game for the next one. Except for TTV, Pandemic, and BS01 folk. That means you, Venom Kahi. Thank you. 
we see you. All right. And mange. <laughs> All right. All right. So I'm going to randomize another list. <laughs> okay. You guys ready? We're yes. ready. The black canvas mask case. And the winner of this has the option to have it autographed by Dan Parker and myself. Dan Parker being my boss. <laughs> All right, I will have the drum roll, please, again. <laughs> All right, I have the winner. And the name is, I know he's going to freak out about this, Kothra. Woo! Nice. Congratulations, Kothra. Yay, the guy that's been calling Meso mess up the entire time. <laughs> Clap, clap, clap. Uh -oh. I can't well, I believe you still remember that. Cough drop. I think Cothra might be unhappy with that. He's like, oh, oh, why, why, do you... <laughs> I, why I... did I win this? Why did I win this? Why did I win this? I didn't want... I wonder why he is doing that. Maybe he's just like, why is this happening? <laughs> why does this happen to me? I love this. Why did... I'll take it if he doesn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Too I bad you don't get this it. way. If you didn't want it, I've already got third dips. <laughs> well, uh, Kof, uh you want it, or... we don't have a third prize for you guys. That's the sad part. <laughs> I said... erase myself from the world. <laughs> Do you want it? Yes, no, maybe so. Are you being serial? Are you joking? <laughs> serial. Yes, Captain Crunch. Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Crunch. <laughs> oh, man. They don't make Captain Crunch <laughs> anymore. He's not saying anything anymore. Oh, yes. Third prize is internet bacon cookie. We can do that. All right. Who wants the internet bacon cookie? Oh, oh, I got kicked. Oh, like, it, it kicked him. Oh. Okay. All right. Koth, do you want it? He signed up. I bet he really wants it. Yeah. All right. Now, both of you, Kothra and uh, Takulo. I need you to email me with your uh, mailing address, and I will have it to you within two weeks. Uh, your individual prizes, and I know which one is which. I'm not gonna send you the wrong one. Yeah. So you email squirt. Uh, yeah. Click the little gear in the corner and um, click show topic, and it should say the email at the top. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Third prize is a DVD box set of Biocraft Chronicles. Ooh, that would actually be a good idea. That, that's that not a bad idea. A bad we were idea. trying to arrange no, no, that. I'm, I definitely want to give away that internet bacon cookie. I want to see who would win it. Okay. Well, oh. Uh, well, I mean. All right. I don't know. Who I mean, we we like, could do that if people want it. Yeah. Who's, who's going to be in I don't know if he would want it or not, though. I don't yeah. know. Um, you see, we do plan to make this DVDs of Bycroft Chronicles with special features, deleted scenes, bloopers. I mean, we don't have any now, but when it's all done, we could uh, send him a copy. It'd be one of the few. Maybe. It's going to be a lot so longer like than two weeks, like but yes. With the, uh, yeah, it would take a while, though. Guys, yeah. do you want to know who actually would have won the uh, bacon cookie? Who? Sure. His name is Ark. A R C. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean, do we? Uh, do we? Yeah, want it's like, to? oh yeah. So congratulations. I'll give you your internet email, or, like bacon cookie, like in five seconds or something like that. I'm sure. Yeah. So unless we want to do that uh, Minecraft thing, do we? I'm conversing with the person in charge of that right now. If he feels he's able to make that commitment, and the person in charge of that is. Kini Hawkeye <laughs> yep. to call him out in public. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, hold on, guys. Do we not have any more trivia questions? Like, I know we don't have any masks to give away, but do we still have one more trivia question? We have one more trivia question. But, well, let's, uh, let's ask it for fun. Um, yeah. Um, yeah well, while we sort out the uh, Biocraft stuff, let's go ahead and ask that. All right. And uh, this is for literally nothing. So don't worry, guys, if you don't make the cut. Don't no, 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 no. I think I want to give out a prize. I think I have uh, I, I want to give out a digital prize, like a photo or something. Like a avatar or a signature banner. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, you can do that if you want. Uh, all right. And I'll make right, it custom to how the winner wants it. Yeah. So, everyone, uh, remember, same rules apply. Here's the question. Who was the inker for the coming of the Toa comics? 
All right, Ooh. I pause the chat so that we wait 30 seconds. Okay. And here we go. Stop that! That's nice enough Swords willing to make stuff for someone else, but not for, you know, us. <laughs> yeah, but these people stuck around for two hours waiting for prizes, so we might as well. All right, I'm unpausing the chat. Okay. All right, give us your answers, folks. Oh, somebody actually got it immediately. What? Takulo got it. Wait, no. Temporophiliac. Oh. Temp Temporophiliac. Oh, no, no, no. Temp you're right, you're right. Temporophiliac got it. Thank you, Takulo, for correcting me as well and all the other guys. All right. Nice. All right. All right. All right. Well, we've come to a decision about the Biocraft DVD being given away as a prize, and we have decided, yes, we are going to do that. But first, we'd like to ask, who would be interested in that? Give us your opinion in the chat. Just going to flood us with its enthusiasm. A Biocraft Chronicles DVD complete with special features like, you know, director's commentary. Deleted scenes. <laughs> Someone Boom, would if they could enter. <laughs> Etc. Right. Right, it looks like well, a lot of people would. Yeah, go yeah. All right. Well, I kept right. the names. I haven't removed it. Now, do, do you guys want uh, the previous two winners to be ineligible or do you want to add them back in? It's uh, up to you. Wait, yeah. Because those, those rules yeah. were made up by uh, mm. city blocks. Yeah, uh, I, I would, I would I say. I think we could make them eligible. Them, make yeah, them re eligible? Yeah, I, right. I, I say. Yeah, okay. Also. As a fun thing, I would probably be shipping this out, so if you want, I'll sign it. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> <laughs> the dog is Trolly. Trolly, stop. All right, so does everyone got the uh, names down? <laughs> All right, so I will restart the call. Or not the call, the, uh, the thing. All righty. All right, whenever you guys are ready. Ready? All right. All right. And this is for the Biocraft Adventure Chronicles? Chronicles. 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 Chronicles DVD set, and that goes to... <whistles> Architect. Nice. Nice. All right, there you go. Nice. All right, so... You know. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations. Yep. I've got hey, a hunch. Told, I would love to give out Half Life Three right now. Why don't you just talk to Valve about that before you get to me? Says the guy who's already in Washington. Yeah. Well, I find I this think, awesome. Uh... I'm, I'm just like double checking this real quick. But all right, now <laughs> Architect, you, you got you're gonna gonna have to uh, send that email to LJ instead, not to me. Yeah, and... Architect is my new uh, roommate now. Nice. <laughs> Well, and like we said, um, it's going to take a lot longer than two weeks like the other prizes, so yeah, just keep that in mind. But we'll make sure that we get it shipped out to you and we'll keep in, uh, keep in touch with you. Yeah, that's a good idea. Ricochet 2, oh yes. Yes, let's name out all of our favorite Valve games right now on Makuta Fest. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I think that wraps it up then, doesn't it? Yeah, just yeah. I do believe it does. <laughs> I don't have a fourth right I uh, I wish we had fourth prizes. That... All right. Well, all righty. Well, yes. I just want to say year, we'll just do Valve Fest. Et. Et is banned. Well then. Oh. What? Oh, what? Oh, yeah. I, I see. I see what you. Did. Okay. Just random. Et's banned. I was confused. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. Yes. I just want to say to all of you that have stuck around, this is our longest Makuta Fest ever. I think it's fitting. Every year we get a little bit longer. Next year's so, four hours. Be ready. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Man, we were so really just, close to three years this year, or three hours, weren't we? Yeah, I just yep. said we were three hours long. That, that, we're getting up but, there. <laughs> I just want to say to all of you that joined us today, we I really appreciate it, and we you know, couldn't thank you more. Yeah. And I hope you all enjoyed it. We worked really hard to make this be successful and i'd say it was indeed so, yeah no. even though i couldn't read a single word any of you said because the chat was broken for me oh i really uh, appreciate it i just presence. i just want to go out there and say i think this was a horrible mistake and we should probably do it all over again <laughs> <laughs> no yeah it was terrible everybody well, listening well. should go on bzp and post about how much fun you had today so we can make everybody right. jealous 
Yeah, let's um, let's make BZ Powercast jealous that they weren't part of us. Yeah. Uh, well, that's do not it, what I meant, do, but do sure. It, do it. So my apologies. Who won? Architect. Yep. So uh, I'm not shipping anything, right, guys? No. Mm-mm. Not now. <laughs> not not. Yeah. Not, yeah Hypothetically, in the future, maybe. Yes. Well, no, it's it's gone. We, yeah. we, trust, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't have proposed it as a prize idea if we weren't sure it was going to happen. So. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. But yes, thank you all for listening. Yep. We really Thanks. appreciated it. So. Um, yeah, we it's got live or the recorded version. You know. Thanks. Yep. We got like uh, the 219 total views according to the feed right now. Nice. That is in fact an increase from last year. I was 219. That. That's pretty good actually. Oh, oh right. yeah. Oh, poor Ch- Ch- Chase. You got. Oh man. Chase. <laughs> well done. <laughs> uh, no, go away, yeah. Chase. Anyway, so yeah. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. All right. Is- Talk to you guys later then. I guess we can go ahead and sign off. I'm messing up. I'm Vodoran. I'm LJ and not muted this time. I'm Swert. I'm Jules. And I'm Tomana. I'm Cox. Thanks for listening. <laughs> yeah, he's still here. Cox, what are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, Crowlix. What are you doing here? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you me? You I was just having so much fun. I'm sorry. Yeah, we can have a good friend, right. Crowlix here. So come back next year. I yeah. Know. Thank you for listening to Makuta Fest 2012. We love you. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. We love you. See you next year. Time to go. Can we <laughs> stop padding this out and just end it? <laughs> uh, like I said Yo. last year, I love Mangosteen. <laughs>